going ah, okay it's been a few days um yeah how is everyone i hope you're all doing well hello motherfucker oh Zenis, how you doing dude welcome in um it's been a few days since i've been on and we're back in star wars usually the horror games it seems pretty much that seems to be the norm now but uh, we've always got to give love to star wars so we are back it's friday night it's been a hell of a week um i've been trying to finish off my last assignment for this subject it's almost finished so i did get enough time to do this um but how are you zenis how you doing dude um i'm back it's been what five days
to we had to play some games we had to chill out with some star wars had to do some pvp uh gotta get do some story um you know what i might do it on my agent because i am loving working on the agent at the moment uh gamma cool evening thank you good work on the assignment thank you um it's a final report and i've gotten through 2000 words so far there's actually no word count but every report that i've done every previous subject has been around two two five so it's pretty much there um i just need to sort of sort it out and do all the you know cross the t's and dot the i's over the weekend and then it's pretty much ready, ready to go um but yeah i wanted to jump back in get some star wars going have some beers happy friday everyone let's uh let's get into it how are you doing gumbo uh that's not the scene i wanted that one <laughs> all right so polish it yeah polish it that's it yeah, yeah. Nice, nice polish give it a nice sheen um okay so he is not up to legacy of the sith he's um at onslaught so i'm gonna have to power through that but at the same time we'll do pvp with him because i'm really loving agent pvp at the moment agents are such a pest and you know what it's such a different story when you're the one being the pest <laughs> so yeah yes frye it's frye absolutely i never use this there it is <laughs> i'm sick as a dog at the moment which why i couldn't stream last night oh no dude it's not COVID, is it oh what the fuck is going on here no uh scale all that down there we go that's my fault. I keep changing the resolution. What's in the mail? What have I got? Victory is near. Okay. Thanks, Malgus. Uh, Indigo. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. For you. Not COVID. Okay, great. I, um, I got sick a couple of weeks ago. And, um, I was vomiting and, and, and had many details had diarrhea and everything and i was like oh god i've, I've heard of people saying that covid can have these symptoms it's like do i have covid again um no it was just a it was just a stomach bug it's a stomach bug that's been going around uh, quite a bit apparently so where are we up to in the story we're up to objective meridian so we are massively behind in this story so if we actually want to catch up we better get onto it but at the same time we'll do this in pvp and i upgraded his gear um i i heard in um i think it was it, yeah it was sent sterling stream uh that you go over to these guys over here are they over there where are they oh they're over there okay you go over to these guys over here and you give them a piece of 330 gear and they will break it down and give you 330 mods and enhancements and everything so i went ahead and i did that so that my guy is not massively under geared when we go into pvp so i think i've tailored his talents or not his talents his skills or not skills jesus christ i can't talk after this week <laughs> um tailored his actual stats to where he can do some proper damage blah can't talk <laughs> all right so we're queued for pvp i started imp op for the first time last week enjoying it so far um what do you think of the story the, the the agent story is considered the best in the game. How, how, how far have you leveled it so far? Where am I going? Uh, Meridian. Oh, that's a flashpoint, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I gotta go this way. Mm, 
No, I don't want to go there. Operation Marine. There we go. Right. Oh, do I have to go? Oh, I just do. Don't know. The White Nova. Uh, maybe I'll just get to the White Nova first before I accept. Although I guarantee that all these people that are in there, they're going to be like 336 or 340 gear and I'm just going to get wasted. But the benefit that I've got is that I'm a stealther, so I can get away. So far enjoying, uh, just finishing it off drumming cast, so super early into it. Oh, okay. The story does get, uh, it does get really good as you go on. Probably, uh, it's good to begin with, but I think it, it must be about, oh, 4v4, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> Kaleo. Oh, Kaleo is savage. She is 100% savage. She's on another level. Like, you can do any evil thing. It doesn't matter what it is, she likes it. She's like, hey, <laughs> I'm just going to kill all these kids. And she's like, I'm on board with that. Yeah, honestly, she is twisted, but she is a good companion. She talks a lot of she talks a lot of smack to you, but she doesn't turn on you. She's just very, yeah, she's very in your face, and she she talks a lot of shit to you, but she doesn't turn on you, which is a good thing. Um, this is probably relating back to the Sith Warrior story. Is like, I'd rather a I'd rather a companion like talk shit to me and like complain about stuff that I do and not turn on me, or than actually being nice to my face and being like super loyal, apparently super loyal, and then stabbing me in the back. <laughs> shit talking I can take. <laughs> rather my companion call me a fucking idiot. Then say, oh, you're awesome, boss, and then stab me in the back. <laughs> Who are we going for? Uh, I think they said the scoundrel? He's not at a stealth yet. Where is he? There he is. Oh, hello! Come here! <laughs> Alright. Get those little toxic blasts off. Oh god, I don't have enough actual advantage. Evasion. There we go. I'm not completely squishy, which is good. Don't push me, bro. Alright, alright, alright. Where'd you go? Don't, no, don't run. Come back. I will never recover from Malavai. <laughs> no one will. <laughs> Malavai Quinn, the fucking arsehole. I let him live, though. That's the thing. I let him live. I regret that decision every day. I'm aging my op more savvy so the decisions she makes are based on either keeping her cover or how they could use someone down the track. Oh yeah, it's like gotta be tactical about that stuff. Next round's same, same. Look like it worked. Yeah, we'll go for that again. I hope the music level and everything is okay. Um, I went into Streamlabs and it had forgotten all of my sound settings and I have no idea why. You were my brother, <laughs> Malify. The 
But the thing is, is that he never had the high ground. Malavai never had the high ground. Like, he... He turns on you and you beat his ass. <laughs> Oh. oh, I'm a little bit rusty, um, but we can do it. We can do it. Yeah. Get out of that. Where are you going? Come on. Let's go. All right, I got a shield. Nice, guys. Nice. Well done. We did it. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> God, they absolutely demolished me. Sound seems to be okay so far. Okay, good. Good, I'm glad to hear. Music's coming through okay and everything. De oh, the major thing. Desktop audio is coming through because one of my previous streams, the desktop audio wasn't coming through for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm probably going to jump on to a play later once a uh, small child is asleep. Okay. Well, I'm here. Skew up again. Oh shit, I didn't accept the fucking dailies and weeklies. Of course I didn't, I'm an idiot. Oh well. This means we gotta do one more match, one more victory. We're both coming through? Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, literally, I logged into it and it's like, I don't know what your audio settings are. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, we've we've there are more ground. We've done the cutscene. Like, that's okay. We can keep going. Enemy artillery. Although incoming. I am. 100% committed to taking this call. Doesn't matter what's happening, I am taking this call. Hey guys! Like, we're not even gonna get a chance to do this. I have no problem with that. Alright, let's grab the PvP. May as well grab Starfighter, but I don't think we'll actually do it. Little bit of a change up from the uh, the usual metal and rock. Going back to the bangers. Is this this called again? Hard style bangers. There you go. There could or could not be copyrighted songs in this list. I actually don't know, um, but we'll find out after. Every time I 
Okay. 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 We got this guys, we can do it. There's no I in team. How has everyone's week been? Have you had a good week? Hopefully work hasn't been a complete arse. My work was. Uh, one particular individual is making everyone's life a living hell. But the uh, chickens may have come to roost, come home to roost on that one. They might have, uh, they might have pushed a little bit too far. So we'll see what happens with that. It'll be interesting. But yeah, I hope everyone's had a good week. I'm getting it stunned in three, two, one. There it is, right before I got it. Oh yeah, keep stunning me. Got ya. So much health, this is ridiculous. Did you just die? 438,000 health, I got 336. Oh my god, you must have geared to fuck. Probably already finished our four. Finally, dead. Alright. I'm not staying here. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright. Are there any cubes? Let's get some cubes. Bet someone's gonna interrupt me. No, they didn't. Okay. Alright. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Go. <laughs> bye bye. Boom. Oh, don't go back outside. Oh. Oh my god, I didn't die. Oh, I did die. That was my own fault. I walked too close to the door. There'll be a stealthy here. Okay, no stealther, I guess. Don't tell me everyone's leaving. Oh no. Alright, no, we're good. We are good! Get me with that. Ah. No, I'm not getting dragged into this. Leaving.
I don't know how I remove my slowing effects, but I'm still slowed. Fix it, Bioware. Do it. Seems like my grenade just went into the ether or the void there. It just went through the wall. Alright, I'm gonna grab this. Ah, oh, someone stopped me. Perpetually stunned. <laughs> Proof right here. All right, let's go back in. We can, potentially. Okay. All right. Let's see if there's a stealth are hanging out here. No. Not this time. We can get our hands on a cube. Just a single cube. How did you hit me with that? You didn't even charge me. I'm taking this. Oh, all right. No, I'm not. Ah, I can't vanish. It's on cooldown. Why does that persist through death? Okay. Alright, we're gonna pile on. No, there's none over there. Stabby, stabby. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. That was hefty. Lurkin's got to sort child out for bed. Yeah, no worries, dude. Oof. We're going to be able to get in there to get a cube. Push me. I can't move. Stealth. Don't even know I'm here. Sneaky, sneaky. Dude, just standing there, it'll be all right. Looks like they just want to fight in the middle, pretty much. Uh, 
that. Put a target on Nikki. Oh, I was lucky to get out of that one. What was that? What was that over there? Alright. Nikki, they have targeted you. They say you must die. Traverse either. I mean, everything's on cooldown. Why is everything on cooldown? <laughs> no. That was actually a lag there between me actually getting stunned and me dying. Why am I still stuck? Si Fireworks, seriously, we need to fix that. You can't have dots persisting through death. How badly did I do damage to everyone else? Great. It's about middle. It's about in the middle, I think. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. Do I just get this thing out of the way? Otherwise, I'm going to be starting this flashpoint over and over and over. Yeah, I get it. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm probably just going to get this out of the way. Otherwise, I will be starting the flashpoint over and over and over. Get this flashpoint out of the way. Continue to the rest of the story. And then I think there's another flashpoint. We'll get that out of the way. And then I think it's Legacy of the Sith after. What does that mean? Oh, marked by artillery. Okay, yeah. We knew that. Why are you still alive? Why are you still alive? Oh no, has this really sent me all the way back to the beginning? I was like halfway through this, I think, the last time I came here. Of course it has. It's gonna make me kill Republic Team Seven or something like that, and then Team Nine or something. Nice cuttings from my garden. Yeah. Okay. Let's just uh, let's just scooch past all you guys. You're approaching the main Republic defensive line. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I'm on it. Let's walk right past these guys as well. This is where I'm going to fight the big droid. This is not avoidable. It has to be done. Are you down here? No, you're just hanging up there. Okay. There's no point running around. I'm not going to be able to dodge them. 
to target this guy. Oh yeah. There we go. He was just standing there. Um, are you gonna come down and heal me? Or not? He's not. He's just gonna stand there. Yeah, thank, thanks, uh, thanks, Major. You, you really helped me out here. Still just standing up there, you know, not, not coming down. You can have that bomb to yourself. No bomb for Noi. That's all right. I'll, I'll kill him myself. You don't. You don't need to come down. You just stay up there. failed me on this one. Oh, you're here now. Okay, cool. Oh, I, oh, you're, oh, you're all mouthy and everything as well. Like, she's like, oh, I, I was in the whole time. I don't know what you're talking about. Done. Can I just leave and not deal with them? She's not gonna do it though. She's gonna fight them, isn't she? Oh no, that's right. The backup arrived. Let's go. Just gonna, just gonna scooch past here. Fast guys. How's your force going? You didn't even detect me. Jedi. Weak. Too easy, Major Henry. They don't even know we're here. Right. Where's the belly of three? Right, Major Henry, let's deal with these two clowns, alright? Take a nap. Or not. Channeling the force into me? Well, you can channel this. Lethal toxins coursing through your veins right now. I can't stun you. Okay. You can keep casting that if you want to. You do not help you. Right, he's dead. What are you gonna do? That's what I'm talking about. Oh no, I maxed on my fraggies. Better sort that out. A 
Hell, I better. Let's go. Right, I can sneak past these guys. And I can sneak past these guys. Here, I don't know how much sneaking we'll be able to do. Oh no, we can get past. Right, let's go. I can get past those guys as well. Hey Jedi. Who would have thought? All it takes to get past a Jedi is a stealth generator. Uh, oh, go across here. Okay. Don't turn it off. Can I just scooch past you guys? There we go. Thank you. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> it's like, why the Don't fuck did I come out of stealth? I'm a pacifist. Who are you? I'm Baron Sedrax. Obviously. Preeminent expert in exotechnology and senior design engineer for this facility. Theron. You huh? say so. That you have a body named Theron. Another Theron? Probably spells it the stupid way. Presumably, you're here to seize control of the facility. Yeah, he does. Or perhaps to sabotage the defensive <laughs> he systems. Probably spells it the stupid way. <laughs> Oh, why shouldn't we kill you? Make yourself useful or you're dead. I would love to make a grand speech about never giving up and choosing death over dishonor, but the truth is the situation is out of my hands. All defensive systems, shields, anti-aircraft guns, and so on, have been transferred to the secondary control station near the top of the spire. All of this- Transfer them back. Useless. So there's really nothing to be accomplished here and nothing I can help you with. Commander. Apparently the shield controls have been transferred to another control center higher up in the spire. Is that so? None of the computers will respond, my lord. And I'm seeing some lightsaber burns over here. That was the Jedi, Tau Adair. Oh, her She's again. commanding the last of the facility's guards. She's being a persistent she thorn in our side. As as control was transferred, then headed upstairs. Then we have our target, Commander. On Osus, we united our strength to crush the Jedi who tried to oppose the Empire. It's time we repeated that triumph. Join me, and together we will win a victory for the Empire. It will change the course of the galaxy forever. What do we do, guys? Do we flirt with him? Do we see if he responds? Should we flirt with him? He's not going to respond. Like, he, he's just going to brush me off. I know he is. Ah, fuck it. I'm going to flirt with him. Ah, uh, Malgus, you almost make it sound romantic. <laughs> Major, <laughs> I knew he'd do that. Position, no matter the cost. Yes, my I feel and shut down. <laughs> the scientist who built this facility <laughs> could be very useful. We should keep him alive. What, what, what are you saying, Malgus? Are you saying I'm not attractive? We'll keep you covered. Good luck up there. We'll take that personally. <laughs> Moving out. Alright, let's go, Malgus. Where are we going? Are we going to the elevator? Just. Ugh. It's like, really? Could have just said no. Oh, it's let me skip a lot of the trash I was doing before. Hey, Scott, it's been a while since I was able to watch your stream. How have you been? Uh, guess you've not been good. How have you been? Um, just been... I haven't streamed in, like, five days or something like that. I've been doing, like, final university assignments and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've been good. I wanted to get back into some Star Wars. 
uh, get this guy, this character, my operative, up to date on everything, on the story. Um, he's still on Onslaught. But I've been good. How have you been? You again. I'm having to deal with you again. Um... Here is a deadly weapon. I have enough weapons. Afraid or not, you'll die all the same. We got your back, top. Fools! Not one of you could hope to defeat us. Yeah, you not heard Daddy Malgus. He knows what he's talking about. You're fighting all of us. Well, you will all die. Not a fair fight. Look at the size difference between me and Malgus. Jesus. Taking a day off from job searching. Oh. What are you aiming for? Uh, what, what job are you aiming for? I put my heels on. Is he healing? Yeah, Malgus is healing. Okay. Hey, have a fart cloud. <laughs> you said all of us, but all of your people are dead. And I'm alive, and Malgus is alive, so now it's two against one. Well, I'll just stand out of that. I'll just stand out of that too. You're not very good at this, are you, pal? Oh, I say that, and I just walk right into her force quake. What are you doing? What, what, what are you doing there? What, what, are your, what is your problem? What are you doing? Oh, he's shielded. Okay. Why is he shielded? Let's go hurt her. Oh no, he's healing her. Okay. Oh no, we got her. You are beaten. Your shipyard will be obliterated. Your Republic will crumble. And your fellow Jedi will be hunted to extinction. A camera off an angle. Your destruction is inevitable. Yes. As inevitable as gravity. Hey, hey, don't be throwing science at me. Oh, here she goes. How quick is your character to react to that? Malgus just like, oh? <laughs> Gravity. Catastrophic structural damage detected. Evacuation protocols recommended. I'm disabling the shield now. Warning. Defensive shields have been disabled. Warning. I love how my operative looks. He is such a Raising cool motherfucker. Shields are down. We're evacuating now. Target the Meridian complex. Fire. But there are no jobs here, so I am going to need to work on me getting my license. Oh. Where is it in the world that you are? are you, you're in the US? Or are you in Australia? Or Europe? Or you, you could be anywhere. I feel like you might have told me, but I cannot for the life of me remember. You're in the US, okay. Um Yeah, I know it's just the things are a bit messed up right now to be to be honest. Uh Commander, the economy's all screwed up. Uh, Australia's well Australia's in a bit of a tough spot as well economically, like rising prices and everything. Petrol, food, everything is going up through the roof. Do enjoy. Um, rewards are well I don't think anyone anywhere is having a good time right now. It just this seems to be the uh, this seems to be the uh, the aftershock of COVID. Is that it? Just sort of shows you how delicate economies are. Um, I mean, we were foolish to think that you could shut the economy down for two years and it would be okay afterwards. But I guess we're seeing that now. 
Chose one heck of a time to stop being a lazy bum. <laughs> Oh, it's just, yeah, everything's a bit screwed at the moment, isn't it? Um, I wasn't listening to what you were saying, NR02, so I'm just going to go ahead and say my pleasure. Thank you, NR02. I'm glad to have helped. Farewell, Commander. A non-force wielder in the Dark Council Chamber? Unheard of. Coordination and focus gave us this victory. When we fight as one united empire, we cannot fail. Do not forget, I hope that music isn't drowning them out. Even our own empire. A welcome sight. Do join us. Can I sit at one of these seats? Destroyed. The Can I be on the Dark Council? Retreated from countless worlds. We've been watching in real time. Terribly entertaining. Like, I can earn my seat at any one of these chairs because the most I'll beat any one of you in a fight. In a, matter of weeks. a shame that Malgus couldn't enjoy the fruits of his efforts. His recovery will take some time, but rest assured he will return to the phone soon. Can I be a member of the Dark Council? The victory over our ancient enemies grows closer by the minute. I want that one over there to the left. <laughs> when you don't pay attention you just say hmm yeah good for you but later find out they were talking about their dead dog oh god <laughs> talking about their dead dog oh yeah that sounds awesome like <laughs> for Sweden we're affected by the Ukraine war oh see there's there's another issue as well entirely. Besides the actual depression that the world is falling into, there's also Putin and his war. God. Isn't... Isn't Sweden joining NATO? I thought I saw it in the news earlier this week that Sweden... Like, US backed that Sweden's joining NATO? I could be wrong. Victory over ancient enemies grows close to everyone. Um... Okay, I'm proud. It's been an honor to help the Empire win this victory. That is good to hear. We should speak in private, Commander. The rest of you are dismissed. Th that seat over there, I want that one. Despite our victory, is someone sitting there already? The Make them move. Best used for administrative purposes and not to conducting critical wartime activities. The Wait, there was a war? Yeah, what's that? What's new? There still is! It's still ongoing. No, oh, yeah, I remember them. Good guys. My first choice would be to recruit the Han's initial ranks from your alliance. You have a guest and officially join the Empire, and your members become full citizens. Mm -hmm. Covert operations will be split out of Dark Salian's intelligence organization and placed under your direct supervision as Keeper. I become Keeper? Of course, you may forego all of this and maintain your alliance's independence. I'm Keeper? I would still have you working directly with my hand, rather than the Dark Council. The choice is yours. Will you return to the Empire, or remain the Alliance Commander? No, I'm going to be Keeper. The Empire is where I belong. The Alliance will become your hand, and I will be your Keeper. Well, Putin is calling it a special op. I will yeah, be he's... That's the thing when it comes to wars, doesn't it? It's like both sides think they're in the right. I look forward to seeing the results of our new relationship. We have the job options if this no war is still going on here. <laughs> oh, you don't want that, honestly. And the relationship, well, you're talking about war. The relationship between Australia and China is a little bit fragile. I don't think it would ever come to war, but you know, like there's always that thought in the back of your head is like, if they wanted to take a crack at Australia, they could, they could definitely take a crack at us. I don't care. The body count is too high. This is war. Deaths are inevitable. 
I don't believe that. Hey, Theron. Trovo's how does it feel to be in the Imperial uh, space station? Theron. I know you didn't pull the trigger on all those guns, but you're supporting the people who did. I want to trust you, but it doesn't seem like we can trust you. Oh, suck it up, buttercup. What the fuck's this guy doing over here? Really should be <laughs> I've made arrangements for a bit of redecorating on a destiny, but it will take some time before we're issued enough banners, uniforms, and so on. But that can wait, I suppose. I'm told there's quite a raucous party up in the officer's lounge. Would you care to be the star guest? Oh, yeah. Free Sounds drinks. Like I'm in. Let's go. It's just this way. Hey, thanks again for finding me that bottle. Of course. If you need anyone to share it, count on it. Mind if I borrow him a minute? I'll you find can you borrow later. me for more than a minute. Love my Pretty outfit. Crazy stuff, huh? Osis wasn't even that long ago. We've already made it through so much. That's war, I suppose. Still, most grunts aren't lucky enough to work with the deadliest fighter in the entire galaxy. Which reminds me, too bad you didn't join the bet. You'd have won for sure. I love how the Empire finally opened its mind and stopped being so xenophobic and let alien races into the Empire. Like, Major Anri, like, she's really good. She's a really good soldier. How about that time alone we were talking about? Gonna have to wait, I'm afraid. I actually came to talk about something else. Back on Corellia, I didn't actually make it out with the rest of the shuttle. Got poor thunders and falling debris and all the chaos. Wouldn't have made it out at all. They have just Who? An old ally. You never met. Yeah, no problem. You're the one who tried to kill me. Thanks for popping in. I'll take it personally. It was a test. Oh, Kira. Nothing more. The test you actually passed. What are you talking about? I am Lord Scott. I know who you are. Once a loyal son of the Empire. Kira Carson. I know who you are, too. Not so. All three of us have well, you are in Imperial territory. The former Sith Emperor, Tenebrae, Vitian, Valkorian, whatever you wish to call him. We know he was Daddy? a part of you. And we both felt his destruction. He has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire uh, I don't think circumstances. He is. We are sure. I don't see Jedi and Sith cooperating very often outside of my alliance. How did you end up working together? That is a very long story. We can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessa. It should be safe for us to talk there. Okay. About what? The final gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. Is it a bomb? It's a bomb, isn't it? A force bomb. A dark side force nuclear bomb. A dark side force antimatter bomb. Neutron bomb. There we go. A dark side force neutron bomb. Ooh. I have no full compromise components. Where should we begin with this? Checking the face. Over the CD. Let's double the explosive charges after the Oxus mission. Yes, I examined the device after removing it. Highly complex. You removed it? What are you thinking? It was rendered inoperable due to damage. Replacement is required. Interestingly, it was the only damage not caused by crushing impacts. The exterior perimeter was actually cut by a high heat implement. Oh, no. So he cut a. Give me the droid. And a ship. He cut it himself. <laughs> a high heat implement could that potentially be a lightsaber is that it is that it for onslaught it is um, okay, I choose uh, these ones because they're black. Because I look fantastic in black. 
Any suspicious Listen activity here. must be reported to station security at once. Uh, do I even use that? I don't think I do. All right, anyway. Um, so we got past the flashpoint bit, so we can start queuing again. But we do have to go back to Odessin. Five grand to travel to my own planet. Uh, Kaleo, where are you? There you are. What's up? What's up is that you've been on Smoko this whole time. And we got work to do. No, I might actually change it back to rock. Where am I going? I'm going this way. All right. Shows you how long it's been since I've been on this planet. We're here. Now tell me what this is all about. As I told you on Viking Space Dock, Tenebrae's last A Dreadforge way. frag run? Sort immortality. Maybe. I might be up for that. Story? Just quick for frags. Uh, yeah, I'll do yes if you want me to. I've never actually done lethality DPS in a PVE setting. I'm just going to stand right here. Oh, no. Tell me what this is all about. As I told you on Viking Space Dock, Tenebrae's last gruesome weapon. He sought immortality, but only his endless spite survives. He sort of already got I it. Was his most powerful servant. He achieved immortality. His wrath. But I learned the powerful servant was his wrath. No, I was. I was his wrath. Ultimately, not on this character. I saw what had to be done and betrayed my empire in order to destroy its creator. That is how I came to fight alongside you. We fought the Emperor's servants constantly for years. We even thought we'd beaten him alongside my master. And yet, before happened, and before I received guidance from an old ally. Instead of seeking out our enemy in his current shell, you, as it... Shit, you know what I need to go do? I'm gonna DPS, I need to go back to the fleet. Get accuracy up, because I'm in PvP, PvP spec. I'll be missing like a motherfucker! God damn it. I didn't never sorted this out. Ah! Alright. We'll buy some accuracy mods and just swap them in. That'll do us for now. It's only story mode.
just a quick uh, quick patch job. What is my... What do my tech frags look like anyway? I just completely went past them. There they are. Okay. I need to quickly go grab some mods so I can get my accuracy back up. I, I only sorted myself out for PvP. I told myself that I needed to get my gear sorted for PvP, uh, PvE as well, but I never did it! Alright, um... Just pop a few of these bad boys in and we'll be alright. Okay. What can we drop? We'll drop a little bit of alacrity. But mostly we'll be dropping crit. Any more alacrity? Uh, I don't think that would be wise. Alright, pull the crit one out, put accuracy in. What's my accuracy look like now? 110. Alright, there we go. A three was enough. Three was enough. Alright, cool. Alright, we'll sort that out later. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. All right. We're good. I could just um. I could have just foregone, foregone. That's not a word. Forgone. <laughs> having to do that if I'd actually got myself an accuracy uh, stim, which my sorcerer has. I never picked them up. It's a dread fortress, right? It's not on the list. No, oh, can't do that now. like in a PvE setting. I've heard it's good, but I guess we'll see. Is reduced, hasn't it? Run. 
not doing that, are you? Seems to slap. Intruders have reached the gatekeeper. All forces on alert. Let's get some fraggies. She will collect her toll in the night. Oh, that'd be there. I suppose it can. I can't even see my thing. I never. I didn't sort that out. Story mode, it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, what did I get? Nothing. Big dirty. How many tech packs did I get? Oh, I got 150. I might actually need to go back to the fleet and not accept the mission once it goes through. Man, they slop. Just dropping gas clouds all over the place. Here, have a gas cloud. Touch the crystal. Touch it. Well, hello, Graxus. How are you? Why can't I stealth? We're still in combat. The masters demand it. Release the beasts. Let them feed. Let them feed on your mama. Thank you for the shield. They're all about the toxic blast. All about the toxic blast. Oh, he was up there. <laughs> hey, fellas. Over 
Uh, yeah. Oh, you want to start something? All right. Cool. Oh, you're hitting me. Ah. Uh. All right, then bring it. Oh, shield. Masters, forgive me. Yeah, nice, nice, boys. Oh, you get casino chips. <laughs> I didn't realize that it gave you casino chips. those fat loots of 1,396 credits. That's what I'm talking about. I remember when, um, if you stood in that, you died. Now people are just like, whatever, bro. Shit, I have no idea. It most likely is. Yeah, oh, toxic grenades. How many agents are in the group?
else did I get? Those chunky credits behind. I'm coming, I'm coming. This is the end of the life. The end of your life. Tricky fight. Laser. Engaging offensive weapons level. Omega. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Engaging offensive weapons level. Omega. Together, my army is invincible. That weapon sucks. I doubt it. Why can't I... this? What? Would put you over cat? Oh, don't tell me I'm already cat on tech break. Right? I am cat. Ah! Five hundred tech breaks. Urk! upgrade one of your things this should do like what a warcraft does is mail it to you if you don't pick it up but those tech frags are gone forever i imagine Preempted that one. My bad. Grab a stick 
fucking twist it! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, dude? Just doing a little story mode Dread Fortress at the moment. Protect frags, and I stupidly have tapped myself so I don't get anything from the most recent boss or this one. Because I came in here with 10,300 tech frags. And that is completely and utterly on me. <laughs> How are you? You good? Shout out. No horror game today? No, no, I thought I'd step back into Star Wars. Do some PvP, some story. Um. Oh, uh, why? Right, there we go. Okay. I'm good just waking up so I can gain. No problem, dude. I don't know if the shout out made any noise, but it should have. All my audio was screwed up when I opened Streamlabs earlier. Why it was screwed up, I have no idea. <laughs> It's actually the first time I'm doing PvE on this character. Well, as Lethality, I usually do it as heals. Oh, get out of that. Oh, you're trying to get me. Oh, you... Motherfucker. goes for a spin. And next for you. I am impressed. Witness the potential of perfection. Now, share your true strength. All right, let's go. Nice try. There it is. Done. 
Uh, kills me to lose those tech frags. How many of them was there? Thousand. I lost a thousand. So stupid. My own fault. It's my own goddamn fault. to go back to Odessa for another five grand um I'll be right back guys I need to go to the toilet yeah let's fundle some balls god damn it just jerking it and it it gets what you want I want you to turn it on hey Google is Perseus a good guy on the website GreekMythology.com, they say the only son of Zeus and Danae, and thus a half god by birth, Perseus was one of the greatest heroes in Greek mythology, most renowned for beheading the only mortal Gorgon, Medusa, and using her severed head as a mighty weapon in his subsequent adventures. I also found an answer to this question Is Perseus an ideal hero? Do you want to hear? Two for one! Three and. I got three of them in a row! because we've lost already but it causes as much damage as we can i have waited twenty thousand years but i will wait no longer shit run 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 oh <laughs> oh my my crack don't get knocked into the I told you. I told you. Why? You <laughs> <laughs> were standing right next to me. I was 15 feet away from the fucking hole. <laughs> I'm done. Just... I'm done. Don't res me again. Okay. Wasting vibes. <laughs> Stack on boss. Son of a bitch. Heal fuck. Oh. Ouch. Hey. Ah, oh, no. oh, 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 he got <laughs> and deleted. Oh, oh, that's funny. I'm taking video. <laughs> oh, my video thing. <laughs> then they could res me dead because I saved you. Oh, don't worry. Twitch caught it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. That was funny. <laughs> that was a pretty far yeet, too. All right, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Uh, nice BRB. <laughs> Thank you. Um, where did I get that from? I cannot remember where I got it from. I can find that out for you. All right. So, right, we're done with this. No, I need. To, oh, what am I doing on the destiny? I need to go back to the fleet. I'm capped on tech frags. More money. I don't need to spend. Should probably get those uh, item enhancements out of there as well. God, that whole endeavor cost me like a hundred grand. Was it even worth it? For a few tech friends. Probably not, but we did it. There we go. All right, back to PVE, uh, PVP spec. All right, 
let's uh we need to buy some implant or an um implant upgrade to uh free up our tech rates because we have too many doing stop it <laughs> okay so oh, I love this speeder it's so good All right, what do we need um locked and loaded I wish the upgrades actually increased the stat that it gave you. Alright, take that. Alright, we're not capped anymore, guys. Yay! Hm. Ah, 16 tech frags for the thousand that I lost. Wait, I've got mail again. Does that mean they actually mailed it to me? Uh, mailbox, mailbox, mailbox. No. Why would that happen? Um, Alright, so... Join Warzone, uh, going back to Odessa. Alright. <laughs> Hello. Hello, buddies. Uh, no, I won't go this time. I'm actually good on tech frags at the moment. I really need to get through this story and get my PvPs going. Right, Scourge, tell me your tale. We're here. Now tell me what this is all about. As I told you on Vital Space Cup, Tenebrae's last gruesome weapon. He sought immortality, but only his endless spite survives now. I was his most powerful servant. His wrath. That I learned of his true nature and plotted his downfall for such I was his wrath Ultimately, as well. I saw what had to be done and betrayed my empire in order to destroy its creator. That is how I came to fight alongside you. We fought the Emperor's servants constantly for years. We even thought we'd beaten him alongside my master. And yet before him, and before him. I received guidance from an old ally. Instead of seeking out our enemy, his current shell, you, as it turns out. We sought a different target. Tenebrae hid his original body where no one could harm it. As long as that body remained in stasis, the galaxy's greatest evil could never truly be killed. Do you know where it Unless is? Unless we destroyed Tenebrae, the fight against Valkorion would never really be over. Since Valkorion is gone, I assume you succeeded. We did. As we later learned, he destroyed his first body, just as you purged the last vestige of his twisted spirit from your mind. That is when his final weapon was unleashed. A Sith ritual, carved into his very flesh, unleashed an ancient plague from every molecule of his decaying corpse. 
We were both knocked out cold, comatose for more than a year. Satil Sean was the one who finally pulled us out of that nightmare and started a new one. Like you, Kira and I had both been vessels for a portion of Tenebrae's power. It acted as a sort of vaccine. But Satil had no such protection, nor did any of her followers. Within days, they were all laid low, trapped in a nightmarish slumber. <laughs> Gotta go with number two. I don't understand the force. They are known to be Sith rituals, a force disease. I don't really see how I can help you with this. You're the only one who can. Oh, bullshit. The infection is worsening. There is a darkness growing among the afflicted. We can feel their minds connecting, communicating. Might be merging somehow. Merging into what? Another Valkorian? Is this plague bringing him back somehow? It's too early to make that conclusion. It's a safe bet that it is. It is immensely dangerous. We must stop it. Huh? We loaded Satil and all of the followers on. Oh shit. With a few methods to tend to. The transport is programmed to fly a random course through unsettled sectors of the outer rim, all weeks away from civilization. I can send a signal to alter the course, bring it to another empty system that's closer so that we can meet it in a shuttle. We board the ship and connect our minds with yours through the force. Together, we will face. I'm not a force sensitive. Why do you keep dragging and me into this? From existence. And if we cannot purge it, then we destroy the transport and hope we've ended the old monster schemes forever. I beat his ass and I'm not force sensitive. And the fact that you guys are force sensitive and you can't beat him, that says a lot. Just saying, Scourge, don't punch me because you're very strong. We should just destroy the transport now, <laughs> send it crashing into a star. And kill Master Satil and all of her students? Yeah, why not? Not a chance. If there's any hope of saving Yolo. Them, we have to try. I must agree. We should try to develop a cure for the disease before destroying A force it. cure? We cannot know for certain this will A force be cure for a force plague? It's going to take a while for the transport to come back in the rain. Should we contact then the we force wealth, world does. health organization? If you require any assistance... Get yourself some force it. Pfizer and some Don't force AstraZeneca. Not so fast. I'm not fighting the Republic or the Jedi, so if that's what you want, definitely hesitate to ask. Not if definitely going to ask. Kill Jedi. If necessary, I can slay enough of your enemies for both of us. Ugh. She grows on me. Eventually. Wanna pipe in here, Kalia? Say something snide. Not that I'm complaining, but don't we have a job to do? Ah, oh, that'll do. Yeah, okay. Calling me lazy. Great. Friends and the hands have just entered orbit. I'll get them cleared to land right away. Mm -hmm. I am Darth Wither. I believe the Empress told you to expect me. No, I don't remember that. Hands liaison to the rest of the Empire. Precisely. Competition for the role was heated, as I'm sure you can. What the hell's that guy doing behind me? I am proud to have such a I'll have my shuttle bring me to the surface directly. He's just fucking, he's just letting loose. <laughs> like, yeah, he doesn't even care. Just like YOLO. Ah. I'm thirsty tonight. After the week I've had. My god. Face to face at last. Your hollow does you no justice. Are you flirting with me? Welcome to Odessa. You're honored by your visit. And I am honored to be your guest. Permit me to be direct. My duty as liaison is to facilitate your operations as best I can. My success is judged by your success. I'm Seeker. Did the Empress tell you that? 
much as I say. Kind of a big deal. Deception and manipulation are not among my objectives here. I will relate my Empress's desires to you and your accomplishments to her. Anything you require of the Empire's resources, I will obtain. I shall be your ally, your spokesman, and I hope your confidant. You have my vow. We'll see. I look forward to working. Damn it, I chose the wrong one. What did I say? We'll now, see. If I may impose upon you a bit more before we delve into official matters, I would love a tour of your base. One of my people can show you around. Find me when you're ready to focus on our work. As you wish. I'm sorry. I've shown him around this space like four times. I'm not showing him around again. <laughs> I didn't want to be rude. But yeah, I've shown him around four times. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. Let's get our ass kicked. Yeah. Yeah, the beer. So what's our strategy here, guys? What are we doing? I hate to ask, do we have a healer? Well, I'm a healer, but I'm in PvP at the moment. No, no, I'm not a healer. I'm not. I'm not, because I've not set that up yet. Ah! Here's the thing with these mods, like... It I love the fact that they've reintroduced mods into the game where you can just mod your gear exactly how you want it. At the same time, it means that you've got to set up pre-modded gear for whatever spec you're playing. And that's that's not a bad thing, it's just it's something that you have to do. So I really need to sit down, I'm, I'm, I'll do that off stream, but I need to sit down and I need to compile a gear set for healing and for PvE. Where are you going? Alright, let's go. Get these guys up here. They're all here. If they're all here, then why don't we go over there? Oh no, I can't. Ah, uh, but I can do this. Oh god. Is this a pre-made? They're all moving in unison. That is really not... Been fixing to make a healer too, haven't done it yet. So that's the thing, like you've... I, I, I love that mods and enhancements have been brought back in, but it means that you've actually got to sit there and you've got to mod out specific pieces of gear and set them up in your sets and everything like that for your... But it's... It's a hassle. But it's a hassle that you want, to be fair. Because with the mods and the enhancement and everything like you can swap in and out, it means that you can make your gear exactly the way you want it. With the exact stats that you want. So, it's a hassle. And it's a blessing. <laughs> the only thing is, is that I've only done this guy for PvP. I have not done him for PvE and I've not done him for healing. Uh, I 
think this might be a pre-made. This, uh, this might be a pre-made. Uh, the way they're all moving together in unison sort of suggests it's a pre-made. Ooh, we're taking left. Western artillery emplacement secure. I, how we took that, I don't know. But I'm gonna go over there and help us keep it. Oh no, they're moving in unison again. Oh. Alright, well maybe whilst they're doing that, we can go here and take this one. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll put you to sleep. We'll put you... Oh no, I wasted my, um... Adrenaline probe. Don't choke me, Daddy, not without consent. Evasion. Ah, oh, give me my tactical advantage. Give me that tactical advantage, or that sweet, sweet tactical advantage. Shield, 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 shield. I feel like everyone's already like at 340 and I'm sitting here at 330. Oh, no. Not even 330, I'm like 329. <laughs> I can't stealth, I can't get out of this. No, I'm done. Alright. All my tunes are still at 326. Oh, it's only because I sold that, uh, I gave that those pieces to those vendors. It's like, uh, hide and seek? It's not hide and seek, it's hide and reek or something like that. That I was able to get these 330 mods. But still, I reckon, probably, but this gear is all unaugmented and everything, so these guys are probably all augmented and everything and just, yeah, wrecking us. I'm not getting involved in that fight like that. <laughs> no way. Alright. So what we can do, oh god, they've triple capped us, okay. Well, maybe at least we can go out with some dignity. A bit dumb they made PvP 328 or well, PvE is 330. They should have made it all 330. I reckon so too, dude. I, d I, I don't get the logic behind it. Eastern Damn it, you're in combat. I can't. Um, I appear to be running on the spot. I can't move. I appear to be running on the spot again. You can heal yourself, I'll just heal myself too. Shield, 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 I need my shield.
Oh, I'm getting my ass beat. Brace yourself, lad. Yeah, exactly. Just getting my ass handed to me. Heal. Oh, we are not doing well here, guys. This is definitely a pre-made. Ow! 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 Oh my god, it, it hurts! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh, just... Yeah, that was just death. Just death. I can't move. I can't move. Well, it appears that the reason that I can't move is because I'm dead. <laughs> um, that could have definitely gone better. Definitely could have gone better. That was um, that was an absolute. Oh my god, Minty! Oh, how are you? Did you finish it? Did you finish Kotor? Smokey, how you doing, dude? You finished it. Ah, oh, well done. Gigasi, yes, let's do Scotty. Gigasi, oh my God, Perseus. As soon as you come in, Perseus, you're talking about clapping my cheeks. My God. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Minty. Uh, welcome in everyone. Um, well, you might have just missed. Hey, it wasn't me this time. Is that? Uh, yeah, but I'm sure you instigated it before they came in. Can we get some deep clapping in the chat? We all agree. Oh, oh, so everyone agreed that they were going to clap my cheeks. Okay. Oh, that, that's great. Honestly, great. <laughs> oh, Smokey's on board as well. There's going to be some Rather clappage sticky, happening. Twist it! Well, oh, there you go. Um, it's gonna be dick grabbing as well. Jesus. <sighs> what? I don't know about the clappage that was coming. Did you not see the PvP match that I was just in? We got clapped hard. <laughs> they were moving in unison all around, just clapping. Oh, oh, that's a new one, Mint. You'll love this one. I'll let you. I'll let you enjoy this one. Did you see it? On the left side of the door frame, barely visible on camera, a white translucent mist slowly creeps into frame. As oh, it, damn. So, oh, you damn. Part one, honestly, it ruins me. <laughs> oh, well, to be fair, I should probably do some shout outs. Oh, my God, gifted Perseus as well. How she does. Did you really say uwu to Barris? That's that's wow, Mint. I didn't realize that you had a thing for Barris. <laughs> Can I give Smokey a shout out as well? It will. <laughs> New and then the group expanded. 
Emotional <laughs> damage! Now what we know is too many people to shout out. <laughs> which you are 100% a member and uh, co-founder of. So don't get... I, d I don't choose the clips that it chooses. It, ch it just chooses random clips. Uh, but anyway, we get out of this conversation. We need to queue for PvP. There we go. But yeah, we got absolutely clapped Hello. in the next one. Oh, actually, Cease, thank you for the follow. Your base is truly Welcome impressive. in. You Welcome in, Raiders. Now. Are you ready to focus now? Yeah. I'm getting an arshish, but Captain, if I push it in the whole thing Thank you. The Why the fuck is Perseus a mod? You know what, Minty? Um... You will be too. <laughs> if I can remember how to do it. Ah, oh, it's because my screen's too small. I've got the screen's too small. Okay. Agree, unmod Perseus. Why Why do you want Perseus to be unmodded? Perseus loves being a mod. Smokey, thank you so much, dude. Smokey 1313 cheered. X100. Oh my god, you guys started a hype train. Thank you so much. Whip it out. <laughs> hey, do you not remember that Minty has a bio bionicle penis? You do not want her to whip it out. Like, Playboy is already caught that thing. Damage. Playboy was like, oh no, stop it, please. <laughs> Smokey! Smokey 13, 13 Oh, thanks, dude. X100. <laughs> Did you not see Playboy? He's like, no, stop, please. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Jigasi, no. Oh, what are you guys doing? Minty cast Bionicle Penis. It's super effective. What? <laughs> This is not Pokemon. <laughs> Did it crit? <laughs> it crit, didn't it? <laughs> Smokey, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Smokey 1313 cheer. X100. Um, Who's that Pokemon? Zinji, that thing was supposed to be working, but when I actually went back into Streamlabs today, all the sound and everything was not working. So I don't know why that one isn't working. I'll try and trigger it now. Smokey, Smokey thank you so 13, much. X100. Dude, you're a legend. Why your shit so janky? I don't know. My whole life is janky. Like I spend my whole life Smokey just 13, trying to figure shit out. X100. <laughs> Smokey. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think the button might be stuck. I think you might need to check Smoky it. Smokey 13, 13 cheer. <laughs> X100. Stop taking janky shit. I don't take janky shits. Well, actually, sometimes it depends on how much beer I drink. Again. X100. Oh, Smokey, honestly, you're you're too. You're too generous, dude. Honestly. <laughs> Um, there we go. We saw nothing. I, I don't know. Like something's going on there. Like it's just weird. You know, it, it just keeps <coughs> happening. Like it's like uh, Minty. I don't know if you've noticed, but you're a mod now. <laughs> <laughs> I have power! <laughs> Smokey, I made you a mod as well. <laughs> mod only chat. <laughs> oh. 
thank you honestly thank you so much guys thank you for the sub thank you for the bits smoky i think the button got stuck it just kept going oh my god the republic will fall you've overwhelmed me there guys <laughs> That's probably how I should have reacted after that PvP match. That was fucking bullshit, man, honestly. Oh, not a 4v4. You guessed before the Pokeball gets thrown for me. Did he? <laughs> did he actually get it before you did? <laughs> I feel like Perseus is going to take that personally because he's been all over the Pokemon. You're like, what the fuck? How did you beat me to it? I don't think drop's working. Why is drop not working? Honestly, like, you're logged out. You're logged out of Streamlabs for five days and everything turns to shit. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> Where the hell did that emote come from? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Honestly, the raid, the bits, the subs, you guys are awesome. Love this community. Um, I'm not even paying attention to what they're saying. What are they saying? Amara's under gear and you. Shut up. Oh, okay, we're turning on each other, apparently. Uh, no need to just die. I ignored them on for the record. Uh, okay, so you guys had a bad previous match and now you're at each other's throats that's not really gonna help us he right, said the marauders under gear okay marauder shut up scotty we're having fun <laughs> don't let me stop you have fun all right so i'm assuming these guys want to go for the marauder Don't make me angry, Sammy. Don't make me angry. <laughs> I'm not trying to. Alright, okay. Who's that Pokemon? Advantage. I need more tactical advantage so I can do my toxic blast. Yeah, that. See, see, Perseus, I'm making you proud. I'm using all my tactical advantage on my toxic blast. I'm doing it. <laughs> Hey, you're a tactical advantage. Oh, nice. Um, well, you did more damage than me, but I killed two people. Nice, nice, nice. I am proud. <laughs> There's some context behind that. It's like Perseus was actually on my ass because I wasn't doing Toxic Blast enough. Um, Sorry, corrosive assault enough, and um, yeah. <laughs> you got angry at me. Let's get out. One v one when you're gonna go me, dude. Honestly, you'll you'll absolutely annihilate me. You'll annihilate me. I fought Playboy, and I and I think I fought Playboy seven times, and I beat him once. I think it's only because I crit. 
fuck did he go? Where the fuck did the Mara go? What, he absolutely yeeted himself over there? Oh, shit. That's my bad. I used my fucking Holo Traverse. Alright, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. You can fight me, but I can just evade you. Nope. Lovely. Damn, I got the munchies. Uh, what's on the menu, Smokey? I didn't kill anyone that time. Some food? Yeah, no worries, dude. Leave me alone, Pussius. Pussius! Oh! Your base is truly impressive. You must be very proud. Yeah, but I didn't show you around. I got someone else to do it. Yes, let's. Who is that Pokemon? The destruction of the Meridian complex on Corellia continues to accelerate our war. We've won decisive victories in the Bormir. Yeah, I, I, I need to queue, so I'm just going to interrupt you there, dude. Okay, there we go. All right, you can start talking again. Don't guess. I knew that. This is truly impressive. Is in my head forever. Are you ready to focus now? Yes. A slithery snake. Oh, it's a snake. It's a slithery snake. The destruction of the Meridian Complex on Corellia continues to our war. We've won decisive victories in the Bormir, Atrevis, and the Noat sectors. The Republic is real. I'm wondering if this one actually works. Oh, that was a wet one. Oh. With your leadership, it cannot be otherwise. We are solidifying the triangle. That is awful. Yeah, there's a little bit of something extra with that one. Imperial troops is already en route to serve at your command. Assault troops, security personnel, patrol ships, and so on. Now then, there is one other matter that needs your attention. Janky. As promised, all covert operations personnel and assets have been transferred to your overseer. Darth Zarian has been... I swear, my operative is so far behind on the story, it's ridiculous. Upon investigation... I have identified five operatives transferred to your control who are, I can't in even fact, see it. Golbat, maybe? These operatives were sent to spy on us. COVID only. patient zero. <laughs> deal with them? Uh, watch them closely. Watch them, but take no further action yet. Yeah, they could be valuable assets, whether they wish to or Did I just give you that answer? As <laughs> your reputation, I believe that concludes our business for today. Who is that broken And his name is John C. Yeah. All right, here's here's one. Here's one. All right. How much time have we got? A minute and eighteen. Okay. Here's one. Here's a sound that's on the board right now. And there's a reason that I have actually attached bits to it because it goes for 57 seconds. Now I'm going to torture you all with it. <laughs> Bite me pussies. Here it is. Here's the sound. Okay, I know this is a really bad idea, Enjoy it. but... It's twisted. Here 
Once your nose's pants is on you, ooh, ooh, you're so warm. Ooh. Couldn't help but notice your balls from across the floor. Nose is your Nicky wakey till they were till day, hee hee. Unzips your baggy as pants, oh baby, you so musky. Take me home, pet me, and make me yours, and don't forget to stuff me. See me like my little baby tail for your bulgy bulgy. Kisses and lickies your neck. Mm, I hope daddy likey sazzles and wuzzles your chest. Yeah. I can get thirsty. Hey, I got a little itch. You think you can help me? Only seven inches long. Ooh, ooh, please adopt me. Pause on your butt as I lick my lips. Ooh, ooh punish me, please. Gotta hit him with this wissy, first wissy. shit. He don't see it coming. Here we fucking go. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, so there's a reason that that has a price tag to it. <laughs> oh, I couldn't help myself. That thing is twisted. <laughs> All right, I better get to the objective. All right, let's 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 try and win. <laughs> oh, now I need to buy bears. Alright, fuck off. God, I wish I still had orbital strike. Why'd you take it away by aware? Oh no, you stunned me. Why can I not hit the- oh, there you are. Oh no, I've got no energy. I used up all my energy. Damn it. <laughs> ah. Alright, okay, alright. And he's gone. Sure, he's gonna come back. Oh. Ooh. Uh, we have double tap. All right. Great. Great. I'm a champ. So your shit power is energy regen. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's just what I was. I, I know. It's just what I was doing. It is. I went to go attack, and it was out. But, uh, yeah, I know. But Perseus, we've already established that I'm shit. Oh god, demonic power again. <laughs> Did you see it? On the left side of the doorframe, barely How does someone have uh, that yeah, much have gas? Uh, oh, oh, is this thing on? Uh, attention restaurant customers. <laughs> Testicles. That is all. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. It's, I'm <laughs> oh, come on, Percy. It's not that bad. <laughs> We're winning. <laughs> I'd have shit myself. <laughs> dude, I think that dude's <laughs> spirit left his body if he was pushing out a fart that hard. There literally has to there, there had to be tears in that guy's eyes when he was doing it. And not to mention he was farting on his roommate's door. Can you imagine his roommate being in the room and hearing that as so I'd be like What the f what the fuck is going on out there? <laughs> you got fucking thunder cheeks out there. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Invasion. Oh, 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 I'm in a precarious situation here. Get out. Oh, you still got me, you bastard. All right. Mish. 
You left a stain on the door. You left a stain on the house. <laughs> In general. <laughs> okay. You need to use the signs. You left a stain on my soul. Emotional damage! take this one can't we yeah we can take it we can take it we can take it all right is he gone is he left i still dotted him but uh, all right okay all right and then stun him yeah there we go How did you give me one stun and then another stun? You have too many stuns. Oh. Alright, they're all going for this side. Okay, need to get out. Need to get out. Need to get out. Alright, get out. 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 There we go. Bring it. <laughs> what are they doing over there? Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> I need to put a bigger cooldown on that. <laughs> That's not human. <laughs> <laughs> over your entire screen. Yeah, I think so. I think I need to fix that. <laughs> Data Crone, how are you, dude? I meant to shout you out earlier, but I got distracted. There we go. Um, okay, all right. We're not miles behind. We could still win, I guess. Trying to wake up. Well, how are the farts going for you to wake you up? Uh, is that is that something that you expected to hear? You know, sipping on the morning coffee. Okay, I'm gonna press this and someone's gonna jump me, but let's do it anyway. Yep. Uh, do it anyway. <laughs> Which one are you gonna stun? Me? You gonna stun him? You gonna stun both of us? Come here, where are you going? Get out of that, yep. I've got to head to bed, it's 4 a.m. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you for coming in, Jigasi. Oh, okay, no, this is a really problem. bad idea, <laughs> but I'm already here, so. Here we fucking go. Die. Extreme nose is <laughs> on you. Ooh, you're so warm. Couldn't help the 
Nikki Nodi shambles from across the floor. Noses your Nikki like you tell them or till they hee hee. Unzip seal baggy is pantal baby, you so musky. Take me home, pet me and make me yours and don't forget to stuff me. See me like my little baby tail for your bulgy bulgy. Kisses and Nikki's your neck. I hope daddy Nikki sizzles and wuzzles your chest. Yo, I can get yeah. thirsty. Hey, I got a little itch. You think you can help me? Only seven inches long. Ooh, ooh. Please adopt me. Hold on your butt as I lick my lips. Ooh, punish me. Glad I hit him with this furry shit. He don't see it coming. <laughs> You're destroying Zinji's soul. <laughs> He's had to cop farts and ooh woos and everything. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is happening? I'm too old for this shit. Uh, to be honest, I probably should just stay here. I'll just, I'll just deconstruct this. There we go. By the time I get down there, we'll have lost. Sounds like the Chibi Moon voice actress. Um, I have no idea. Um, you did the most damage, I'll give it to you. But we still lost. There you go. What can you do? I got one. Beat Perseus to it. Alright. We've had this conversation. The destruction of the Meridian. We just had this conversation too. With you. We are now as upon a these offer. We've oh, had this one too. I will. We haven't had this one yet. Her. Your dick small. I Perseus, you keep saying not. these things, but you don't Our know time. that for sure. Who is that Pokemon? I will not. Yes, we've had this conversation. And you don't know that for sure. Pixar didn't happen. Penis! Stop them. Stream it if you think I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's against terms and conditions. I don't have an OnlyFans. We we all know that you were the one that set up that OnlyFans, and what you did was you photoshopped my head onto other people's bodies. I have heard of one possibility. Set course for Dan. I know this. I know what you've been up to. So far behind on the story with this guy. Joy. Onto oh, other people's dicks. I don't think I've ever used that decoration. Uh, what does Kira and Scourge want? What do you guys want? Well, this isn't even Legacy of the Sith. This is Onslaught, I think. We've too long Pokemon. I'm sure. Hey, 
Stop breaking my shit, dude. Smashing up the place isn't gonna solve anything. We'll find Get your Sith under control. It's gonna be all right. I take it there's no sign of the transport with Satil and her followers. Nothing. OG story. that was good. And we've already checked the next schedule stop. Yeah. No, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's been a little bit disappointing since then. Search. There must be another way. Get your Sith together. Yeah, exactly. Get your Sith together. Gather all your Sith in one place. Get it together. Get your Sith together. <laughs> yeah. Stop breaking my stuff. Let's start by not breaking anything. This furniture wasn't free. <laughs> <laughs> Go easy on him. It's been Walked in the next room and talking like, bruh. He's a bit out of practice. All we can do is start searching from the ship's last known coordinates. Which Bundle does. it all together, you sit together. Get your sit My dick together. is uncomfortably right. No, I, I'm sorry for. I'm sorry about that. And all the probe droids we can find. They'll cover more ground and sort through sensor readings faster than we ever could. T7 works as astronaut. Was it Scourge or was it Kira that, that caused that? And we find our missing ship in a matter of days or weeks. Instead of years. I can't think of anyone better for the job. That may be a great plan. Uh, I didn't even realize T7 was sitting right next to me. Like, fuck. That's everything settled then. <laughs> as soon as we get coordinates, you'll be the first to know. Don't worry, your furniture is safe. I'll calm down in a bit. I'm sending you a bill, Scourge. Expect it in the mail. Invoice. Payable in seven days. Break my shit? That was my big screen TV he broke. Arsehole. Stick a corrosive grenade up his ass. You don't demand anything, Jakaya. Certainly not from him. Right Let's see the four stop that. I'll demand that the claim requires. What's going on? It seems I'm a child in need of a parent. Your Mandalore, the Avenger. You have responsibilities to all of us. So you often tell me. Who's this? Jakaya Ordo. One of my best. He managed to avoid my notice. Bay Vizsla! But now I've put him to work. Hi, Bay Vizsla. How are you? Are you good? I prefer the talk of war. Oh, no, I've done something there. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, you're dying for. So you're the one. Not sure if I should call you commander. <laughs> Not my old title. Need for a commander is done. Understood. I like to be clear on these things. Helps me get your measure. The fact is, Keeper, I only know your reputation. I don't know you. So Minty, what, uh, now that uh, now that Kotor is done, what's the next move? Are you going back to Swotor? Or are you going to WoW? Or do you have another game in mind? A lot of guts. No need both to stand with Mandalore. Haven't made the mind up yet. Okay. Oh, four v four. Fuck me. I know Playboy with Jedi Academy. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Honestly, Jedi Academy, Jedi, Jedi Academy, multiplayer. I will, I will fight you in Jedi Academy multiplayer. I used to be a king at that. I was so good at multiplayer Jedi Academy. I will fight Perseus, and I am confident that I can beat him. I will die on this hill that I can beat him in Jedi Academy multiplayer. No joke. <laughs> I'm playing that Spider-Man game on PC now. I got it for my birthday. Oh, nice. When was your birthday? No, no, no. Malgus? Oh great, so it's a uh, 2v1.
the 1st of August. Happy birthday, Zinji. I like our chances, dude. Oh, no, it's 2v2 now. No, I still like our chances. Focus Jug, I like your thinking. Oh, you already targeted him. Okay, cool. Well, to your birthday. Oh shit, better back my teammate up. That would be a good idea. Oh, he's just going for it. He's not even holding back. Get out of that stun. Ah. Oh no, now we're outnumbered. Fuck. Great. Well, we'll be changing targets, I guess. Me. He saw what I was doing. He saw what I was doing. He saw what I was doing. He knows what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm healing my teammate. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that in the camera. Uh, what do we achieve here, guys? It's basically going to be a one on one fight with you and me. What do we achieve here? Well, so basically, who comes out of stealth first? Legally old in the states. What is legally old in the states? It's like what 55 50 They've reduced that haven't they I thought it was 55 or 60 I don't see the point of what we're doing here You know what? I'm gonna come out of stealth because this is just gonna drag out. Oh no, I hope I don't get attacked. Come here. Yeah, 
You wanna try that fight again? <laughs> I'm up this round. Yeah, see what you're doing. No <laughs> oh, you were close. <laughs> Ish when you can retire. Um, oh, I was close, guys. I, I was fucking close. Well, they've got a healer, so I'm going after their healer. I'm gonna harass their healer. My god, stick that lightsaber up your ass. See who I'm targeting. It's just a big hodgepodge. If we're being completely honest, I don't know when I would be able to retire. I mean, my generation, I'm sure that my retirement age is probably at the moment. I'm 35, so I imagine my retirement age at the moment is probably like 70 before you can get retirement benefits. Give it another 10, 20 years, I imagine that number will go up. Yep, I got wrecked. Thank you, Wrecker. <laughs> but I did almost beat an assassin that was more geared than me. Oh no, we're going back in. No time for uh, Shea Vizsla. I don't know how to play this map. Oh, how you been, dude? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's great. I don't know how to play this map. Uh, I'm gonna grab a beer. We're right back.
Yeah, to be honest, I don't know when retirement is possible for younger people nowadays. Seems every year it gets further. It does get further away. It absolutely does. Um, but you know what? When you think about it, the rip was for retirement. Age. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Rekka, I I 100% get that. But when you think about it, it's like, um, like I'm 35, and I don't lead a super fucking healthy life. But people say to me, like, I don't look 35. Um, that's not a boast, but it's a, it's a point I'm trying to make, is that someone who looks 35, someone who's 35 now, looks a hell of a lot younger than someone who was 35, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100 years ago. Like, it's just that the, the standard of living, medicine and everything like that, it's just that human beings were just, we're, we're aging a lot slower than we did a long time ago. Um, it's not a long time ago, it's within the last century. Within the last century, it's like people are aging slower. Uh, I mean, my sister is 50 years old. She does not look 50. She looks like she's in her late... Late to early 40s. Pretty much retirement. What is that? <laughs> well, the question is, is whether I would actually be able to retire. I don't know. I don't know if that's a possibility. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. I would hope that one day it is. I bought my house 30 plus years ago, so not... Having to rent mortgage payment is huge for me at the moment. Oh, that's great, dude. I live in Sydney, and um, the property prices in Sydney are absolutely insane. Now, the thing is, is that I could... Um, my sister and my parents have offered to go guarantor and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that I would be able to get a house. I would be able to buy one but I would not be able to make the repayments on my own. Just by Sydney's property prices. Like, Sydney's property prices are insane. And it's a shame. Like, you know, you, you're going to, um, you're going back to a couple of generations ago where a house was, I think it was like four times someone's salary. Four times your annual salary. And now, in Sydney, it's 15, 16, 17, 18 times your annual salary. It's not sustainable. And then when you couple that on top of massively rising cost of living, the cost of petrol, the cost of food and everything like that, Australia went through a lettuce shortage. Can you believe that? A lettuce shortage. <laughs> I'm 30, look like 23, my best friend is 30, looks like 45, grey hair with white hair. Oh, really? If I shaved and cut my hair, I'd look much younger for 30-ish. In Paris, is quite cheap. Average three-room apartment costs about 1.4 euros around the center. Mortgage payments in the States are 30-40% lower than rent, so buying is the way to go. That's not the case in Australia. It's actually a lot cheaper to rent. Um, now that is changing, inflation is running rampant. Yeah, yeah. And you say that was because of COVID. And it's like, and we're really, we're really starting to realize that right now. It's like COVID, COVID had its initial economic impact of costing the world economy billions and probably trillions of dollars. But now we're having the knock-on effect of just labor shortages, massive debt, um, now the, 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 the economies are going into a depression, a sort of stuff, it's just, yeah, it's all a knock-on effect. Changing inflation. Uh, my beard is almost white and I have lots of white grey hair. I've actually got quite a, a few white hairs myself, like sparse around my head. I have a five head as well, so I've had a five head my whole life. I just wear this hat because no one wants to see my five head. No one wants to see that shit. <laughs> I've not even been doing the objective. I've just been walking around. <laughs> I'll stand here, I guess. Well, I gotta fight. Any 
still shoot you from here. There's like literally no point in knocking you back. But when it comes to like uh, gray or white hair, a lot of that does come down to your genes as well. Um, that's not to say that because you know people automatically assume that having gray or white hair means that you are aging faster it's it's not true it's not true um like how quickly you gray actually is massively impacted by your genes like there are people in their 20s that start going gray i mean there's um there's a radio presenter in our country called carl sandling um He's 52, um, and he is, his hair is completely white, his beard is completely white. My brother-in-law is the same age as him, and my brother-in-law does have bits of grey hair, like grey bit and everything like that, but most of his hair is still brown. And it really, it, it comes down to genes. Then again, Carla Sanderlands has not exactly had the most healthy life, but... <laughs> Max hated when I shaved or cut my hair. I said it made me look like a kid. <laughs> I'm starting in grade 16. You're starting in grade 16? Yeah, it's that. Yes, and you've got no control over it. It's, it's just your genes. It doesn't mean you're old now. It just that's just when it happens. Unfortunately, typically you start graying um, in your 30s. But I, I've heard of cases where it's happened earlier. Like, I've heard of people in their 20s being, like, completely gray. Not, nothing, nothing you can do about it. It's just, that's just, that's just the way it is. But from a health perspective, like, like, body-wise, they were a 20-something-year-old person. It's just that their hair went gray. Just because they gray didn't make them older, they just... They just grayed. I mean, there are things that contribute to your hair going gray, like stress and all that sort of stuff. My beard just started getting white about 25-ish. 25-ish. You don't demand anything, Jakaya. See, I wish Certainly I could grow a beard. I've got. It's all patchy for me. I wish I could grow a beard. What's going on? It seems I'm a child in need of a parent. What? Who said that? Bay Vizsla. Responsibilities to all of us. So you often tell. Is he talking smack about you, Bay Vizsla? I will fucking slap him upside the head if that's what he's saying to you, Bay Vizsla. That is not gonna happen on my watch. I would gladly go back to being unknown, Great Matador. I prefer to talk of warriors to the endless gathering of politics. <laughs> the curse of being skilled at boats, you old rancor. Though you're the one, I'm not sure if I should call you commander. You can call me king if you want. <laughs> Not necessary. The need for a commander is done. Understood. I like to be clear on these things. Helps me get your measure. The fact is, Keeper, I only know your reputation. Why is I everyone looking to run Dread Fortress? Is there something I don't know about Dread Fortress in the patch? Dread Fortress isn't the weekly. Anyone that can start a war without firing a shot. Well, but that takes a keen mind and a lot of guts. You'll need both to stand with Mandalore. Do you always to Mandalore? I speak my mind, that's all. She's Respect the Mandalore. To my for but I'm still here. Both are only good for licking so It's easier to drops good gear now. Oh, nice. It was dropping a lot of tech frags, I noticed. 
I capped out whilst I was in there. I'm sure you have more important things to do. I missed out on a thousand tech frags because I capped out. His brother. They're a family of Lost his sister a few years. Hey Vizsla, I won't have him talking to you like that. Something wrong. That's the first time he's mentioned a clone issue. He oversees a lot of the day-to-day -day details without a word. If it troubles you, take action. I did. Akaya is better at rooting out these sort of problems. He kept an assassin's knife out of my gut more than once. You're a leader. How would you deal with unrest in the ranks? You're the Mandalore. Um, to be honest, I'd probably go with patience. If a group has a problem, it's usually for a reason. Understanding their Maybe problems means that you understand yeah, them and yeah, loyalty. must be allowed to speak out, to think for themselves, to be effective. Chikaya demands... Probably the best way to go. I understand, and it keeps it all running, but I don't work that way. Well, looks like I've got reports to review on escort missions we've been overseeing. Chikaya snuck them into the transmission. Sneaky Chikar. I'll leave you to it. Have fun with those reports. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we got that cutscene done, and now we move on to Pokey Point. Hello. Ouch. Oh, I really need to go to the toilet. We've only got 35 seconds. I don't think I can make it in that time. We should get along. I, I get along with everyone. Anyway, to um, to circle back to our conversation, it's gray hair. It comes for everyone. Um, I love. Uh, you should have seen my sister's face. Um, my sister is turning fifty this year. Um. As you can imagine, she's like, oh my god, I'm 50. My brother-in-law is turning 50 as well as I'm turning 50. And I've said to them, it's like, look, it's just a number. He's like, oh, I'm getting old, I'm getting old. It's like, and I said to her, it's like, do you know when you, do you, I'll tell you the day that you officially become old. The day that you officially become old is when you let the child inside you die is when you stop having fun. Is when you stop having stupid, silly fun, enjoying things that make you happy and all that sort of stuff because you have to be an adult. You have to have responsibility. You have to be proper. You have to do that sort of shit. That's when you officially become old. But if you can still have fun and you can still laugh and joke around and be silly and all that sort of stuff, then you never really become old. Like, never let the child inside you die. If you let that child die, then that's when you become old. I mean, yeah, your physical body ages, but you're still the same person. I mean, think about it. It's like if if your body didn't physically age, do you think that you would change personality-wise? I mean, you'd become more experienced, you'd become more wise, but would you stop yourself from having fun just because your body was 20 years old or 200 years old? That's something to think about. You officially become old when you let the child inside you die. My sister loved that, to be honest. She's like, I've not let the child inside me die. Like, I, I, I still like my, my, I've, she, um, 
she had my dad pick up from an auction because she, she was on holiday. Had my dad pick up from auction a couple of toys, you know, from the movie Toys, you know, the Robin Williams movie Toys. She had my dad pick up a couple of toys that she paid $700 for. Apparently these things actually were in the movie. These were toys that were in the movie. She got them from auction and asked my dad to pick them up for her. And my dad was like, why would you pay that for these toys? It's like, she's like, it's my childhood. And I said, there it is. It's like, there's the child. There's the child. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. I said, there's the child. Oh, I'm just not paying attention. I'm too busy talking. Mine's still young, but my body is like, take it easy. <laughs> The car wreck did a number of me. Oh shit, dude, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, the, the, of course, that would cause physical limitations, yeah. But, but you, but you know, you know, you know what I'm getting at. It's like, the body ages, the body gets damaged, the body falls apart, I guess, but it's all about your mindset, I think. And you know what? I think if you've got that sort of mindset, like that young, you know, fun, loving, adventurous mindset, I think that actually extends your life. It's when you start becoming a miserable, old... Fuck. <laughs> My, mentally, that's when you start dying. <laughs> Bought a Sailor Moon doll. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm really not helping my team here. <laughs> my head said, fuck yeah, go for it. My knees say, go for it. <laughs> Well, after we lose this match, I'll show you something that I bought recently. Which someone my age, 50 years ago or so, would never buy because it's immature and it's not responsible and... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> There are certain things that society expects of you, but always remember that it's your life. Society will dictate the way that you need to live your life, but at the end of the day, it's your life. You live it the way you want to. Something that makes you happy doesn't need to make sense to anyone else. Why should it? It makes you happy. That's why you bought it. That's why you did it. That's why you... That's why you went to that place. That's why you bought that thing. That's why you did that show, or that's why you went to that movie, or why you went to that event, or that festival, or something. whatever it is. That, you did it because it makes you happy. You didn't do it because society thinks it was okay for you to do it. You just need to remember that. It's like, it's, if, if it makes you happy, society doesn't need to understand. Other people don't need to understand. And they may not understand. They may not, but... Fuck them. <laughs> My family doesn't understand computer games. Doesn't understand Star Wars. Doesn't understand any of it. But they accept it. It's like, well, if that makes you happy, then by all means, go for it. Grass, bro. Who launches those blades with a scoundrel? 
You're losing anyway. I was too busy talking. That's my fault. Um, I do not seek or need approval from any anything or anyone. So I do leave. And so you should, dude. And so you should. It's your life. You live your life the way you want to. Doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Uh, I'm not gonna bother going out there. We've already lost. Anyway, what I was talking about... Oh, well, that was a smooth transition. I love it. Um, I was in... Oh, shit. I was in JB Hi-Fi the other day. Oh, my God, my skin is so shiny. Sorry, that's moisturizer. My skin gets so dry. Um, I got this the other day. It's a uh, limited edition. Batman and Joker, Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, Pops. I saw it in JB Hi-Fi. I was like, I must have this. And I got it. And you know what? I didn't give a shit. It's like, it's mine. I want it. The child inside me said, I want that. And I'm taking it. <laughs> Dread. Dread, how are you, dude? How are you, Dread? Uh, we're losing this PvP match, but we've been doing PvP. How are you, dude? Oh, I'm trapped. Oh well. I was too busy talking in chat and wasn't paying attention to the match, but that's my fault. And it's the same thing with these... Uh, oh, I'm gonna go back again. It's just ass whoopings happen in PvP. It's the same thing with the with these holocrons. Like I, I got these from Etsy. Uh, they're uh, well, Etsy is custom made. Isn't it? It's, but the nerd inside me loved that Jedi holocron. Like, come on, man. <laughs> and. Sith Holocron. <laughs> they weren't expensive, it's just, you know, I I I, I just wanted them. <laughs> um I joined the queue, but I actually need to quickly go to the toilet. I'll be right back, guys. Got it just in time. Okay. All right. We're hot bowl. <laughs> Dreddy, if you want to do some PvP, I am here. Let's go. I'm on my uh, operative. Holman, if you have a uh, if you have a character on um, Disco Sean, you can join us too. Anyone anyone's welcome to join us. Oh no, Dread. Oh shit. Ton oh yeah, mate, honestly, we're gonna be all over those balls. I'm gonna be in the end zone waiting for balls to hit me in and around my face. 
Peach Nurse. Ah, oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you got painkillers to help out with it? They don't help. Oh, shit. Do you need to see the doctor? Although the thing is, I'm not sure exactly what they could do with pinched nerves outside of surgery, is that right? I mean, they can correct it with surgery, but they can't do shit, yeah. Because that's the only way they can really properly correct it, isn't it? If they actually go in and move the nerve. I could be completely wrong about that, to be honest. Oh, no, he's dead. All right. Okay. Go back into stealth. I'm in the end zone. I'm open, coach. I'm open. Throw it to me. Throw it to me. I'm open, coach. I want those balls all in and around my face. Oh no, he lost it. Okay. Murphy was in our group and left. Oh, Murphy, gotta love you. Now we won't say bad things about Murphy. Murphy is actually a really good player. Murphy's attitude. Unfortunately, is something to be desired. Oh, how did they not all see me? <laughs> okay. I have what is called trigger thumb. Um, I don't know what that is. What is that? Um, guys, I'm, I'm sure this is not very exciting what I'm doing right here, but if my team can get it up here, then it will become very exciting. But they seem to be struggling to get the ball. They're going to have to cut the tendon. Does it mean like the, the thumb is like that? Like it's frozen in place? Is this Hutball? Yes, this is Hutball, John. Welcome in. How you doing? <laughs> I knew that was going to get clipped. Come on, come on, guys. I know you can do it. You know, I've got faith. Or is that team just... They're just happy just to kill. That could be just all they're interested in, is just killing. Okay, so... Fucking hell. I may as well be scratching my balls up here. It's just, I wasn't doing anything up there. Trigger finger is a condition in which one of your fingers gets stuck in a bent position. Your finger may bend or straighten with a snap, like a trigger being pulled or released. Oh. What, um, what causes it? Is it like a repetitive stress injury? 
I swear, every time I go near one of these things, it activates. Hey, have a grenade! There you go. Oh my god! Here they all come! <laughs> You Han Soloed me. <laughs> it occurs when inflammation narrows the space within the sheath that surrounds the tendon in the affected finger. The trigger finger is here, your finger may become locked in that position. As long as you wash your hands after scratching your balls. <laughs> Is that like gout? Oh fuck, they scored. I should not have come out of stealth there. I can't get out of this. I'm gonna die. No, gout's something different, isn't it? Can be repetitive or injury. Okay. In case it was an injury. Okay. Is there a um? Is there an uh? I imagine that the actual overall solution to it would be surgery. I'm not a doctor, I've got no idea. The, the only the only medical condition I've dealt with personally is um uh It's not chronic asthma, it's um it's what the doctor calls lifelong asthma. When I was young, like my asthma was actually pretty bad. Like I was told that when I was born my diaphragm wasn't strong enough to support my lungs and the doctors when I was a baby had to inject my diaphragm with medical steroids and during my childhood I had a lot of asthma problems and I had all those puffers you know with the clicking and everything like that the ones that were so strong that when you breathe them in you actually had to wash your mouth out because if you didn't wash your mouth out your mouth would get ulcers that's probably the biggest problem I had to deal with in my childhood. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't have to take them anymore. Like I sort of grew out of it, but I still get asthma when um, I catch a cold or anything like that. Can be repetitive or an injury. In my case, it was an injury. Gout is caused by too much uric. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Surgery in bad cases. I've tried not using my. Could there be some sort of therapeutic treatment that could... Again, I, I have no idea. Oh, these guys up here are guarding because they know what's going to happen. But yeah, I used to be on like three or four different puffers when I was younger. Clicky puffers and that sort of stuff, and I think I actually did suffer from an asthma attack when I was younger as well. I, I don't really remember it though. I think I passed out. Um, but yeah, my asthma was pretty bad when I was younger. But I grew out of it to a certain extent. Um, I still get it when I'm sick, but it's only like like Ventolin just gets rid of it when I get sick. So it's very minor now. But yeah, when I was born, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> How good is that? I couldn't breathe on my own. If it wasn't for medical science, I would be dead. Nice play. 
mod which is a phone you can't have to use it for now. Checking camera three men, the issue is the tenant is blind. Yeah, like it's, that's the thing, it's like you know the worst thing about inflammation is is that it's it's it's, it's like it's like your body it, it's it's your body's natural reaction to try and protect itself. It's like it's, it's a part of your body that's that's be that is damaged or at risk of being damaged and your body inflames around it to try and protect it and at the same time it's actually causing damage to itself but your body doesn't know that it's just like i just need to protect this bit right here right now and in doing that it causes damage but it's like um what is it they say uh it's like uh like like a really good example of that is um like it. Oh god. Okay, I know this is a really <laughs> bad idea, but I'm worried about you, so. Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. Right. <laughs> Extra noses pants on you. Ooh, ooh, you're so warm. Ooh. Couldn't help but notice your bulge from across the floor. <laughs> noses will make you wake you till day, right till day. Hee <laughs> hee. Unzips your baggy as pants, oh baby, you so musky. Zinji is traumatized. Don't forget to stuff me, see me like my little baby tail for your bulgy bulgy. Kisses and lickies your neck. I hope daddy likey sazzles and wuzzles your chest. I've been getting thirsty. Hey, I got a little itch. You think you can help me? Only seven inches long. Ooh, please, please adopt, adopt me. Pause on your butt as I lick my lips. Ooh, punish me, please. Better hit him with this furry shit. He don't see it coming. It will. <laughs> How do you play the Who's the Pokemon game? Um, you just type in the um the the Pokemon's name. That's it. It picks up on it straight away. You don't have to do an exclamation mark or anything. You just type in the Pokemon's name and it picks up on it. I don't think it needs to be capital. Does it need to be capital? I don't think it needs to be capitals, but. Oh my god, guys, we finally got the weekly. <gasps> oh. Pardon me. <laughs> there you go. Um. What is that, anyway? It's a uh, devastating vengeance. Am I actually wearing devastating vengeance? Who's that Pokemon? No. Hold on. I'm not wearing two serendipitous assault, am I? Hold on, take this off. Serendipitous assault. Serendipitous. Are you fucking kidding me? How the fuck was I wearing two serendipitous assault? Oh, Jesus Christ. Honestly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They don't stack. They don't stack. I didn't realize I was wearing two of them. It must have happened when I was shuffling around gear. I I al I'm almost certain that I was not wearing two ser two serendipitous assault. I was wearing the serendipitous assault one, and I was wearing the mastery one as well, which I can't remember the name of. It must have been when I was shifting gear around. Um, but you know, shit happens. We'll keep going. My uni group is talking about something. What are they talking about? Oh, my current uni course has not actually gone down very well. Like it's um, it's been moderated pretty badly, and it just feels like the course was just thrown together randomly. Um, I'll, I'll tell you guys. Like I'm studying a um, I work in recruitment at the moment, and I'm sort of over it. And I've gone back to university to study cybersecurity. Studying a master's degree in cybersecurity. Completely online. And um, the current course that we're doing is called um, Cloud Security. But it's just, this particular course just seems to have been thrown together so badly. Like, the, the course content has no connection to the assignments and everything like that. And it's like, 
and you gotta ask yourself, it's like, I paid four and a half thousand dollars for this course. Luckily, the Australian government pays for it. I have to go, I've got to pay it back. And it's like, the, the government pays for it initially, and then I have to pay it back. But, after doing this course, it's like, that wasn't worth four and a half grand. Like, that was, that was a piss poor effort right there. But, it's part of the degree, so... Do I know how many beers that is? I can count. I do know. I do know the number. This one is beer number Who's nine. That Why the fuck did I just do that? <sighs> okay. All right. I'm guessing Kira and Scourge want to talk about something that I'm really not interested in. <laughs> I meant for how many beers is that? Like four and a half thousand Australian dollars. Uh, an average case of beer costs fifty dollars. So if we actually, I'm gonna have to get the calculator out for this. So a case of beer is twenty-four beers. So four thousand five hundred divided by fifty. So that's 90 cases of beer. So 90 cases of beer times 24 is 2,160 beers. Yeah. I don't feel it was worth it. <laughs> the whole master's degree is gonna cost me like $50,000. Nothing I haven't mentioned before. A lot of huge words. I don't have fifty thousand dollars. It's all through the um. It's called the it's called the Hex Help Program. The government pays for it, and then you pay them back. They um. They take a percentage off your salary. What about the escort guns? Silence. What happened? Some of the cargo ships we were looking after ran into trouble. Mostly scouts sniffing around. Hopefully it amounts to something. We've been looking into it. Just trying to do a career change. Keeper, we need to get him. I've been keeping an eye on you. And Mandalore was right to stand by your side. Who's that Pokemon? Don't get me wrong, like I would love to stream as a career, but that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Um, Mandalore was right to stand by your side. Uh, yeah, because you challenged Bay Vizsla and I'm not having it. Tell me more about these cargo runs. Who would attack Mandalorian ships? That's the real question. They're well equipped and they know our methods. Do you need help? What can I do? Your offer is appreciated. But we have things in hand. No, Bay Vizsla, I want to help. A few. It's not bandits. Are you doing okay, Dread? Like, are you are you in a lot of pain? Like a test of our defenses. I know you object, Mandalore, but we must look closer to home. I don't object. I just want to be sure. Did some of the clans really go that far? I'm probably drinking the beers a lot faster than I normally would tonight because I had a pretty shitty week at work. Like Chase said, we need to know more. 
before we jump to conclusion. I would love to learn cybersecurity. I understand. Um, Aronella, cybersecurity is actually really interesting. It really is. The problem is, is that cybersecurity is quite a diverse field. Um, there is a lot to it. Um, it's not just like... Even if it costs us. Uh, what's the best way to describe it? You know, you know when you watch those, um, you know when you watch those movies um, where they're hacking and everything like that into computers, and they're like, rrr, 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 I'm in, and everything like that. That's not how hacking works. Um, it's actually quite a long, laborious task. Um, but um, oh shit, uh, I was just about to say you're right, Bay. You're right, Bay. But no, it's very interesting. Like, oh, there's so many facets of um, cybersecurity. Like, there's um, uh, penetration testing. There's uh, forensics, data forensics, all that sort of stuff. Cloud security. It's it's such a big field that even even me doing like a master's degree in it is like this compared to cybersecurity being this. If you uncover any new leads, pass them along. Count on. You know they have a Shea Vizsla figure out. Don't give yourself alcohol. <laughs> uh, I come from a Scottish family. Honestly, I will be fine. <laughs> Iron liver. There's so much. Like, there's people that have been in the field for 10, 20 years and they still don't know anything about it. Which is, which is understandable when you think about it. It's like, you know, the different facets of technology, like cloud computing and networking and, and just mobile devices and, like, just like, even, like, the Internet of Everything itself. The Internet of Everything itself is a fucking pain in the ass to protect. I mean, your TV connected to your computer, connected to a Google Home device, connected to this, connected to that, blah, blah, blah. Imagine trying to secure all that shit. Jesus. <laughs> it's a pain. So many devices connected to the internet. I love this, um, I love this analogy that someone did, is that the reason why cybersecurity is such a pain and so hard to implement is that the internet was never designed to be as big as it is. It's like... The internet was designed to be a shoebox, and then the world built a skyscraper in that shoebox. That's what the internet is. In its basic function, it worked really well. But it was never designed to be a network that spread across the world to incorporate billions of devices. And that's why it's so hard to secure. It was never designed to be in the capacity that it is right now. It's a skyscraper in a shoebox. I love that analogy. <laughs> Uh, cybersecurity apparently is a very, very high paying field. Tech is, yeah, exactly. Tech is always changing too. It's like every year there's a new phone, um, new operating system, new security protocols. Um, and not only that, it's like you've got these, these attack vectors as well as like, uh, 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 malicious parties like coming up with new ways to attack software uh zero day exploits and that sort of stuff it's like just it's it's an ongoing battle and as the internet becomes greater and and the amount of device i mean jesus christ your fridge connects to the internet now <laughs> who thought you would see the day that your fridge would be connected to the internet <laughs> But that's um that's that's the ongoing challenge. Was waiting for you to catch that ball. Oh no, I fat fingered. No, oh, you're not going anywhere. Where are you going? Oh, you motherfucker, you got me right at the right time. Unbeatable. 
can I stop stop stunning me maybe we need to design a new net that's the ultimate goal is to design a new net but how do you do it though My robot vacuum connects to the internet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything connects to the internet. Have just taken the Your Roomba is sending real, re like live data about carpet, <laughs> carpet fucking. <laughs> Your cat's litter box is sending live data back to um, the company about the kind of shit your cat took. <laughs> I don't think the problem can ever be solved. It's just it's just the nature of the internet. It's just it was never designed to do what it does Our right now. Is all clear. Talk about redesigning the internet, but it's you would have to shut down the current internet to implement a new internet and that would never happen. You're talking about a system that was built on the idea of free access and free sharing and then trying to secure it. I see some dirty moves by kicking the hot ball. It will always ball. have vulnerabilities. Where'd the ball go? Lockhart throws the ball nowhere. What a failure. I might have even been doing the objective. I've just been talking to you guys. But you know what? To be honest, like, you guys are my main focus. Win or lose, I don't care, but I'd rather hang out with you guys. Oh, I'm gonna kick it. Oh, I just got eliminated. I'm trying to think how many devices in this apartment are connected to the internet right now. This computer is. Uh, that iPad is. Uh, the TV is. Um, my work laptop is. Uh, what else? The PlayStation has internet access. Um, PlayStation 4, I don't know about PlayStation 5, I'm not one of the lucky ones. Hey, fuck these guys, I'm gonna hang with all... Yeah, no, I'm, like, fucking, we can just, like, do loop, we can do fucking laps of the, the fleet. As long as we're just hanging out and having fun, I don't care about... Win, lose, PvP, like, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> The thing is, the stream snipers want me there. <laughs> when I play VP, I just want to have fun. If I lose, that's that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, John. That's exactly how I am. If I lose, I lose. But I will take great pride, like, if I absolutely fucking leather someone's ass. But to be honest, I'm probably not doing my team any favors by walking around talking. <laughs> They're probably angry at me at the moment right now. Like, can you focus, Scott, you fucking idiot? Okay, I now focus. I don't know, I just got into a good conversation there. I just wanted to, you know, talk about some stuff. But yeah, basically, that's, um, that's what I'm aiming for to move into the cybersecurity space. Um, it's, uh, it's apparently a well-paying space. Uh, it's an interesting space as well. I think. But yeah. That's, um... 
That's why I'm going to uni. Um, it's an online course, so it's like six, uh, six online courses a year. Um, this is me just finishing the fourth one for this year. But I've actually gotten past the halfway point of this master's degree. So I only have four courses left. Each course is six to seven weeks long. And I've only got four left. So within... Four or five months, I'll have a master's degree in cybersecurity. If I don't fuck it up. <laughs> but, you know, like any job, it's like just because I got the degree doesn't mean you get the job, so I don't know, I have to figure something out. Yeah, even with an entry level position, they always want you to have experience, right? God, it's a fucking mosh pit down here. Jesus. Sweet, sweet beer. Oh, 24 seconds. We've lost. really well. Oh, I never finished this conversation. <laughs> Shall we finish this conversation? Did you learn anything from the clans? Nothing I haven't mentioned before. Sorry, that's me fucking around again. Sorry. You sound like a leader. I sound angry. My blaster is still a bad You pissing off Bay Bisla? I'm not having it. What about the escort runs? Silence. What happened? Some of the cargo ships we were looking after ran into trouble. Mostly scouts sniffing around. But one exchanged fire. We've been looking into it. <laughs> Never! You're stuck here forever! Mandalore was right. Stand by your side. Don't piss off Babe Isla. I do what I can. Modesty. Hmm. Tell me more about these cargo runs. Who is <clears throat> Mandalorian ships? That's oh, a real question. I did actually do a little bit of a burp there as well. I hope the uh, microphone didn't pick up on that. Well equipped and know our methods. You need help. What can I do? Your offer is appreciated. But we have things in here. Any theory? A few. It's not bandits. It's not even the cartel. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> this feels different. Like they're testing our defenses. I know you object, Mandalore. But we must look closer to home. We all understand, understand why, like, the, the Mandalorians side with the Empire, right? Because the Empire doesn't try to change the Mandalorians. Like, the Mandalorians are what they are. Like, they're hunters, they're bounty hunters, they're killers, and everything like that. And the Empire doesn't try to change them. 
The Republic does try to change them. The Republic's like, oh, you can't do that. It's like, so it makes sense that the Empire and Mandalorians actually work together because the Empire doesn't try to change that. Because, well, if anything, the Empire turns around and is like, dude, you're a killer? <laughs> we love killers. <laughs> We're all about that shit. <laughs> F for the Republic. And to be honest, like, the Republic is so... corrupt. I mean, look at the... Look at the Twi'lek that tried to take over the Alliance when you went missing. I can't even remember her name. What was her name? She was the Senator. Um... Can't remember her name. She was the Senator, and she tried to take over the Alliance when you went missing. He's like, you're gone, so I'm taking over. That's it, Suresh. Suresh tried to take over the Alliance when you were gone. Empire didn't try that shit. <laughs> Empress Asina. And the thing is, Empress Asina had the guts to go to you directly and say, look, know you're pretty strong and want to be friends. What do you reckon? I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the Republic are worse than the Empire, yet yeah, the Empire wants power, but that's just how we humans are. Suresh was a counselor, but wasn't she the actual... She was the, 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 the head counselor or the head of the Senate of the Republic? Now, don't get me wrong, like, the, the Empire does bad shit as well. Like, the Empire does, like, slavery and torture and all that shit as well, which is fucking wrong. But when you when you're talking about like the amount of I don't know how I'm gonna explain this without making myself sound really, really bad. Because I've just pointed out that the Empire does slavery. Um I don't know how to explain this. Um because, yeah, the Empire does bad shit, too. Like, the Empire does slavery and shit and all that sort of stuff, and torture, and, yeah, is. But to a certain extent, I think the Republic does the same thing. Actually, if we're being completely honest... Riggity, riggity, Rexon! Actually, if we're being completely honest, both of them are shit. Both of them are shit. Neither of them should be in power. The Republic and the Empire are shit. Fuck them both off. New order. <laughs> Heated words are far cry from exchanging fire. <laughs> I'm shit. I couldn't explain it properly. Both do bad things. Yeah. No, Mandalorians aren't boys. Join Zakul. Yeah, let's go with Zakul. Zakul's got it figured out. Even if it costs us. Shay's right. You go too far and you risk losing control. And sometimes, too much freedom leads to chaos and destruction. Enough. We gave our I was so strong in my argument, and then I remembered that the Empire does slavery. And it's like, fuck. That's just put a massive hole in my argument. I'll make them mad enough to come out and play. I prefer a fight to all this sneaking about. If you uncover any new leads, pass them along. Count on it. Let's just say they're both shit, and there needs to be a new galactic order. What that looks like, I don't know. But at the very least, what you can say, regardless of all that other shit, what you can say is with the Empire, you know what you're getting. It's exactly what it looks like. With the Republic, it's not. They are such snakes. They are such deep, like sneaky. Like, is like you just don't know what's going on. With the Empire, is like, well, yeah, I, I know the shit they do, and they don't hide it, and they're direct about it. And you know, some would argue is like better the devil you know. I don't know. It's like, I think I'm digging myself a grave right now. I should probably shut up. 
Why do I have to keep jumping from room to room to have conversations? That's not my ship. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys ever played, um... You found the ship I don't know why I just thought about this right now. Have you guys ever played, um... The Walking Dead Telltale series? We need those coordinates now. It's a bit of a niche game series. You probably haven't played it, but... Um... It, 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 it gives you that sort of scenario. Is, um... Do you go with someone that comes across as being better, but you're uncertain of what their uh, their their motivations are, or do you go with someone that you know what they're like and you know that they have bad tendencies, but you know what they are? Is like you're put in that situation. Is like, do you go with the devil that you know? Better off with the devil you know. You have such sweet philosophy. <laughs> I own it, but I haven't played it. Yeah. Hell nah, that game's scary as fuck. <laughs> Fair enough. But it presents you with that scenario. It's like, do you go with someone that promises something better, but it's a but these are people that sell you a story, but you don't really know anything about them. Or do you go with someone who is, for lack of a better word, broken, but you know them, and you know what they're capable of, and you know well, is and, and and you know that they've got a bad side to them, but they don't do anything bad to you. Like they're on your side, and they back you up, and they protect you. And it's like, it's it's that whole scenario. It's like you're saying that you're better, but this person's been with me the whole time and they're a piece of shit but I know them and it's like yeah I don't know it's like it's like better the devil you know I don't know <laughs> I'd rather watch a horror than play a horror like a horror game oh I'm I'm a massive fan of horror I, I love horror I love horror movies I love horror games like um T7, you're in danger. Get out of there now. You have the coordinates. Leave it to us. Stop breaking my oh, shit. Get there now. What have Seven I told you? Found their master. I swear to God, I'll never do it again. I'm gonna have to fucking yeah, beat his ass. He keeps breaking my shit. They're the Sith Emperor's worst fanatics. A good error and a result of me. Just one, oh, so if you're looking for a horror game that's pretty wild, try Outlast uh, uh, Whistleblower or Outlast 2. Those are pretty wild. God damn. Reinforcements. I'll call in everyone we have. We'll wipe them out. Every last one. No. If Tenebrae has truly cheated death yet again. Anyone we take with us is another potential puppet for him to dominate. But we can't risk taking anyone else. They won't be able to resist the Emperor's control like he But I guess the scenario that the um, the Walking Maybe Dead games play on way. is that um, you're in a survival situation, and in that sort of situation, and like, yes, the Walking Dead TV series plays on this as well, is that the biggest threat is people, not the actual zombies themselves. And... There's not a lot of trust that goes around in that sort of scenario. Um, and I guess, yeah, it does, it does sort of play heavily into the whole better than the devil you know scenario. Like, a broken person, but you know that they would back you up. Even though they would be an absolute pain in your ass and do dark shit. And that's it. Yeah, it, 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 it tests, like, it tests your will to survive and like, yeah it's it, it, lots of decisions thrown at you <laughs> right there with you on both horror games and games but i don't play enough horror games a few of today's horrors are okay that's 
Alright, the world's not exactly in a good state. As, as a matter of fact, the world's probably... After two years of COVID, the world's probably in a much worse state than it's been in many, many years. The whole world is basically falling into a recession. Um, COVID had a massive, massive impact. Horror games and movies. I, I love horror. I, honestly, I love horror games. I love horror movies. Um, the first time I saw a horror movie is when I was five. Do you know what that movie was? It was It. Can you imagine what the movie It was like to a five-year-old? <laughs> I couldn't go near a storm drain for fucking weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't go anywhere near a storm drain for weeks. <laughs> we all float down here. Fuck off! <laughs> you can fucking float on your own. I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> Although, um, the original It movie, he never said that, I don't think. I don't think he ever said we all float. Pretty sure he never said that. I think that's new in the new It movie. His main thing was just to drag you into the sewer. And I don't think he had the same weakness as the remake did. Uh, what was its original weakness? It wasn't it wasn't that you called him bad names or anything like that Which apparently the new movie had that precedent is you call him bad names and he shits himself No, it was something to do with you don't believe him in. you don't believe in him or you're not scared of him You're not scared of him or something like that or some sh yeah I, I can't remember what it was. It's like it's just like he feeds on fear But if he has no fear to feed on you ca he can't get you it's not that you would actually insult him and call him bad names. It's like you weren't scared of him. <laughs> Mortison would watch various horror movies when I... Yay hi. Went from killer class from outer space to full moon picture horror films. Yay hi. Where'd my hat go? The way this is unfolding, I'm completely disheartened. I never dreamed we'd face Valkorion again. And now you must God so damn, I am hard. sexy. I hope you know that if I could, I would be by your side for this. You can very well be. I always appreciate your concern, but I hate making you worry. This will be over soon, I promise. I don't doubt it. Just stay safe. Good, you're still here. I was hoping to catch you before you took off. Oh, well, here's Theron. I hope there's room for one more on that shuttle, because I'm going with you. Hey Theron, I reckon your mum's hot. What do you think about that? Even though she's 70 years old? Mm. I appreciate the thought, but are you sure? I know what's risky. As soon as I meet your mum, I'm going for the flirt option 100 percent I lost one parent. 100%. But if there's something I can do to save her. Whatever the Emperor. Am I alone in that statement? <laughs> I was unsized. He didn't control me then. Sure as hell won't let him affect me. Wasn't really scared of clowns, but Clown. after watching when I was older, it was you cheesy but awesome nostalgic. Before you go. Like clowns. <laughs> no. <laughs> Arkin wants to come too? Did I spare Arkin on this character? I can't even remember. I guess I did. Why like, go ahead. Whatever you need to say, I'm listening. We're coming with you. We helped you I don't remember sparing them on this character. I spared them on my uh, my sword, but I don't remember sparing them on this character. I thought I killed him. All right, whatever. All right, PVP. Let's go. Um, see, the thing is, is that because I'd been exposed to horror from such a young age. Um, I become quite desensitized to it, so 
Like when I was playing Outlast and I was playing Outlast 2 on stream and everything like that, I was I was barely reacting to it. And then when people in chat like, oh my god, this is giving me so much anxiety, it's like it's just because I've been desensitized to it. <laughs> Oh, the movie, yeah, it was a good one. Uh, well, John, the the new it or the original it? The new one. See, I only watched I only watched the first new it. I didn't watch the second one. I haven't watched the second one. It's not because I didn't want to. I just I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay, so where are the attackers? Okay, let's see where we go. Is there anyone on my team that I recognize? No, I don't recognize anyone. Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's see how we go. Alright, well you guys are over here, so we'll go over here. And you're coming over here too. Um, which is most of you, so I'm gonna go over here. Oh, you spaced yourselves out. Okay, all right, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, guys. Let's go. Drop a little fire club. All right, here we go. Come here, come here. Oh, shield, 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 shield. All right, there we go. Get out of it. There we go. Oh, these guys are good. They're tough. Ah, no, 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 no. They've actually dispersed themselves quite well. I love the movie, it was a good one. I don't want to do that too. I didn't even know about the 90s it until Y2K. <laughs> when I was watching all the way through, it was good. Is the old one good? The old one is good. Um, but the thing is, it's, it's the old one is like that sort of scenario where it's an old movie and the tactics they use to scare you in old movies really don't hold up in, um, in new movies. If, to be honest, like if you, if you're experienced in horror, the old it would probably make you laugh. <laughs> What was scary back then? The Ring are a good movie too. Yeah, they are. They, they, I like the Ring movies as well. There was a movie um, quite a few years ago that um, that actually scared me a little bit. And to what, to be honest, that's actually a pretty good reaction. Um, from how desensitized to horror I am, um, it was Event Horizon. Because Event Horizon actually goes like full in to like gore and all that sort of stuff. Darth Dad, how are you, dude? Darth Dad, I have to apologize to you, to be honest, because I've been in your stream multiple times, um, but unfortunately, when I'm in your stream, I'm working, and I can't interact, and I can't talk as much as I want to. I hear you, I hear you talking about Pokemon, and I want to say things, but I'm usually on a phone, a work phone call. <laughs>
that's the problem. And, th and that's the same problem I have with like SM Playboy and Jakuski and all that sort of stuff. I jump into the streams, but with the time difference, I'm actually at work. <laughs> so I jump in, I say hello, but I can't really interact the way that I want to. <laughs> because I get so many fucking phone calls, it's ridiculous. <laughs> So many people call me, I, it, 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 it's horrible. <laughs> no need to apologize, I'm good. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad. Like, I want to be part of, like, because you, you've just gotten into Pokemon and I want to be part of it and I want to interact and engage, but I, I just can't. <laughs> Work right now, so really bit Oh, no, oh, dude, I understand. <laughs> There have been times where you've been talking about something on stream and I've been in a meeting and I've wanted to say something and it's like, fuck. <laughs> you brought up a point about Pokemon and I wanted to engage on that and I couldn't. <laughs> Ah, the challenges of uh, being adult, dude. That's that's what it is. <laughs> Too many responsibilities. Celestial as well. There's another example right there. So many times, like basically every time I go into your stream, I can't talk. I say hello, but. I'm working and I can't interact and, but then again a lot of the times I come into Celestial stream and I really want to be there at the beginning because he's such a you're such an entertaining guy and every time I come in like you're just about to log off <laughs> and it's because I'm at work So luckily I can jump into your stream and I can see maybe an hour before you log off, but I can't even interact that much. But there you go, Darth. Another example. Celestial's another example. Like I, I jumped into his stream because I want to see his stuff and I can't. <laughs> Did we get another one off? My god, my team is fucking killing it right now. And I'm getting killed. Okay, alright, I need to get out of this situation. That'd be good. Alright, go, 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 go. Did we get the security code? We did it! Ugh. All right, I need to do some shout outs. We've got Darth Dad, he is amazing. Darth Dad, I would love for you to tell me who did your overlays, because your overlays are amazing and I need to do some overlays. Um, I'm thinking maybe a Star Trek theme because Scotty's beaming, like maybe like a, a Star Trek console. Um, if you could tell me who did those for you, that would be great. Your emotes are amazing as well. And Celestial, awesome Star Trek streamer. Ah. Zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I haven't played Star Trek online, but okay, to be honest, I got a feeling. with my name being Scotty I Beanie, no I can really go and fucking <laughs> cover that. Let's go! <laughs> no! Whoop. Okay. No, yeah, I don't. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's a big fight. Oh, it's a big fight. Oh, it's a big fight. Okay. I went over to Fiverr and found the graphics art because we did my new logo and got a screen with it. Oh, okay. I would love to discuss that with you, dude, because, yeah, I'd love to get, like, a... 
my custom over. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. Of course, dude. Keep bringing up that. <laughs> Keep bringing up this song up last night in stream. What? That? <laughs> Scotty doesn't know. Well, I do it so that my um, my chat can take the piss out of me. <laughs> Are we connecting Discord? Um, I don't know. Are we? I thought I joined the Discord. I may not have. Shit. Um, but I'm not even paying attention. I thought I did. I thought I joined your Discord. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I th I'm pretty sure that you linked it, and I don't know. Maybe I missed it. But yes, I definitely want to be in your Discord. Fucking shit fight over here. Oh my god. Why am I over here? What's going on over there? We're defenders. Go away. I'm going over here to help my friend. How you doing? You good? No, 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 don't leave. Oh, you bastard. What would you say is the most pirate-like class in SWOTOR, the smuggler? Yes, absolutely. The most pirate-like class in SWOTOR is the smuggler. Oh, shit, here we go. Right, right. I can't stop this, guys! <laughs> right! <laughs> smuggler, I would say the smuggler, yeah. Respect the 1v1 bro. <laughs> that wasn't 1v1. <laughs> Alright. Sort of, I'm loving operative uh, PvP at the moment. It's no, 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 nothing for you. No, you're not getting that. No soup for you. Oh, evasion! No, nope. get out of that. Get out of that. Get out of that. It was just for a minute. Yeah, just for a minute. <laughs> Alright, okay. We just need to hold them off for another two minutes, guys. Two minutes, guys, and we got it. Two minutes. We got it. We can do it. We can do it. I have to say, Darth, like, I, I, saw, I saw you and Playboy uh, versing each other. In Pokemon and I got jealous like I wanted to play too. <laughs> um, if Skull and Bones finally releases in November I plan on making it a pirate month and play only pirate games and starting pirate characters in the games. I already stream so probably a good time to pick up a smuggler and slow tour. So like proper pirate game. So would you go with um the, like just thinking about what you just said there is like would you go um would you play Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Because that's a pirate game. <laughs> A 
Assassin's Creed Black Flag is actually a really good pirate game. I love Assassin's Creed Black Flag, especially when I was upgrading my ship and going on ship battles. It was so good, I loved it. I got my ship so strong that I was taking out um, Man of Wars. Like I was fighting Man of Wars on my ship. They're like this, and I'm like this, and I was beating them in a fight. <laughs> Yes, been thinking of doing that as well. Maybe even as a warm up before that. Have that one and I love it. Basically, skull and bones with a child born out of the of black flag. Oh, is it? I didn't even know that. It doesn't matter if I die, we win. We win. We did it, guys. GG. They will not get to the core before we do. Before we did. I loved Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I thought that game was awesome. I was so proud of my ship. You have triumphed. Oh, what was the song? What was the song? Oh, oh, I need to bring it up right now. What was the song that, like that famous song that it played? Uh, I'll give it to you. That famous song they played um, when you were actually, uh, traveling around. Oh, um... There it is, I got it, I got it, I got it. There it is. There it is. I thought I heard the old You'd be man going around the stream, uh, you'd be going Johnny around the ocean, and you'd get your crew to sing this. Tomorrow you it will was so get good. your pay, and it's time for Girl, us to, to leave her. her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave her Oh, the wind was foul How good and the sea it? ran high <laughs> Leave her, Johnny, leave her She shipped it green and none went by And, it's and then time you had to pick up different songs and they would her. sing in different islands Leave her, Johnny, leave her Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave so her. So good. <laughs> For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave her. I hate the Wellerman to sail song. on this rough Earworm. Tub. I've listened to so many. Wellerman. Leave oh, yeah, the Wellerman. Johnny, leave her. They could definitely no add the Wellerman into um, and the game. Rotten grub. And it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. This one? <laughs> oh, leave her, Johnny, leave, leave her. For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow. And it's time for us to leave her. We swear by a road for want of more. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. But now we're through, so we'll go on shore. And it's time for us. To leave her, leave her, Johnny. Oh, so let's do it. Absolutely, one of the best oh, songs her, that Assassin's Creed has come out with. Her. For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow, and it's time for oh. us to leave her. What was Zinji's talking about is this one. No, you're ready to there sail once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was a bully of tea. Our boots and our clothes boys oh, are all sorry. in the pond. We'll just stop that. Winds blew up her bird up down below my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon may the well, well man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She 
you know I've been two weeks from shore when down on her I right well bore the ago. captain I was super called all hands and swore he'd take the wheel in tow He's growing out of my moustache Soon may the woman come to bring her sugar and tea and rum One day when the tongue is done we'll take her leave and go Da 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 Before the boat had hit the water, the whale sail came up and caught her hands to the side, harping and fought her. Sea shanties actually became very popular at one point in the last Soon couple of years. The well come Didn't to this one get to like the top of the charts? One day when the tongue is done, we'll take a leave and go. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. No line was cut, no will was freed. The captain's mind was not of greed, and he belonged to the whaleman's creed. She took that ship in tow. Remixes of it. The well man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take a leave and go. Da 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 for 40 days or even more The lane went slack Then tight once more Oh, Valhalla Calling I think I know the one you're talking about, Zenis Valhalla Calling Can't spell I know the one you're talking about <laughs> oh, what, what have you got there, Darth Dad? What have you got? Let's have a look. When I was just a little lad, or so me, mommy told me, Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. That oh. if I didn't kiss the girls, my lips would grow a moldy. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, so Joe. Good, away, ho! Haul away, we'll haul away together. Away, haul away. I feel like this one is we'll more of a drinking song. Joe. Oh, away, mate, yeah. Ho! I come from a Scottish background, so this this actually hits away, home. <laughs> haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. I used to have an Irish girl, but she got fat and lazy. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Okay. But now I've got a Bristol girl, and she just drives me crazy. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Away, ho, haul away, we'll haul away together. Away, haul away. Oh, Louis was Sorry, the king of France that. before the revolution. Away, haul away, revolution. Well, haul away, Joe. But then he got his head chopped off and oh, his body's constituted. We're getting into Chion. the pirate away, stuff now, guys. Celestial Star, that he was talking away, about pirate we'll Star Wars, and this together. is where we are. <laughs> away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Away, ho, haul away, we'll haul for better weather. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. But I want to go you back to um. A second mate, you can't eat higher bowling. But I love the fact away, that you've actually done it. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. You can't eat. But I want to go back to the what Zenis was talking about rolling. as well. That's a good away, one too. Haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Too loud, guys. Should I away, turn it down? Ho, haul away, we'll haul for better weather. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Well, now can't you see the black clouds are gathering? The away, is also haul great. Away, oh, the Valhalla one is we'll awesome too. Away, yeah. Joe. Well, now can't you see the storm clouds are rising? Away, hey, raises a toast away, to these coffee horn. We'll haul away, Joe. The way ho, haul away, Stay. we'll haul. Together, away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Away, ho, haul away, we'll haul for better weather. Away, haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Love it. All right, now, Valhalla. 
sun, bigger of the waves, a skimming barren summit. So the verdant plains, each horizon and a new beginning, rise and rain. Far from the fjord to the ice cold currents, brave and sore of a new frontier. I wish that I could grow a proper beard. I really do. This makes me want to be able to grow a proper beard. I wish I could grow a beard, but it just comes out as a patchy mess. <laughs> this is another song that Assassin's Creed is absolutely smashed. I tell you what, the sound team that works on these games fucking nails it. <laughs> Mine's in the sense of raiding face. <laughs> Valhalla's causing me. Sails are swaying on the crimson rivers. Glory on the fighting fields. Shields are shattered to splinter timbers. Just sit here and listen to Viking songs if you guys want. It's up to you. <laughs> Alright. Put the music back on. There we go. We all need a little music therapy sometimes. Oh, we do. We, we absolutely do. Those muse that that those songs that just hit your soul. Alright, how are we doing this, guys? I ain't complaining, carry on with the tunes. <laughs> Alright, what's another Assassin's Creed Black Flag song? Actually, you know what? I could probably look it up on Spotify. Um, these will probably get silenced um, in the VOD, but you know what? I don't care. Assassin's Creed Black Flag Sea Shanties. You know what? We're doing it. We're doing it. Grab the ball! Run, 
There you go. We're doing sea shanties now. Uh, this part of the VOD will probably be blocked out, but I don't care. And I just walked right through that, and that was very stupid of me. There is the Viking song that is super popular. Are you talking about the Vikings uh, theme song? Season 5 of Better Call Saul. Holy shit, is it so good now. Better Call Saul is fucking an awesome TV series. I fucking love it. Season 6 is still going. Every season has been 10 episodes. Season 6 is up to 12 episodes and I don't think it's done yet. They're still going. Better Call Saul is so good. I love it. But Bob, how are you doing, dude? How are you? Alright, so guys, music wise, we're doing sea shanties now. I hope everything, I hope everyone's yeah, okay on. with that. Oh shit, I got yeeted. Alright, I need to get over there. Right. Well, that's as far as you're gonna get. No, no, okay. If everyone's okay with the sea shanties being on, I, I, I am good with that too. Whatever you guys want to do. Oh shit, I got destroyed. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> All right, okay. Where's the ball handler? Where is he? Is he handling sufficient balls? But we must say, like, if you're listening to these songs, you need to have a you need to have a beer in your hand. Just say. <laughs> Loves handling. Dude, there are multiple clips of me talking about fondling balls. Oh, here's a ball. Ah, oh, you put me in the poison. Ah, oh, can't get out. There we go. I'm out. Grab a stick and twist it! Oh, I plan to. Avoid people shooting at me. Oh, here's the Johnny song. For us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Johnny, leave her. Long and Oh, I hate those fucking blades. <laughs> Sandy on his Scotty operative. He's gone. <laughs> I have gone up. Yeah, I have. For us to leave her. Why do you have so many blades? The amount of blades that you have is ridiculous. Oh, and it's time for us to leave her. Shield, 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 shield. Oh, okay, okay. I'm proud, but also disappointed. What, me becoming an op? Really? Do you know what the bonus of being an op is? Is that if people target me, I can actually go stealth and they don't know where I went. <laughs> And my sword, I get scream sniped constantly. <laughs> Operatives are so annoying. Although, I would say, Bob, would you prefer an annoying, pain in the ass operative to be on your team? Oh, 
that can take those harassments to the enemy. <laughs> exactly. And that's what I'm doing. If they're against me, I hate them. But if they're with me, I love them. <laughs> Working, kicking up. Oh, uh, no worries, dude. Thank you for coming in. Beating us. Eh! Ah. Really not doing much here. Shit. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, get rid of this guy. There we go. All right, you got the ball. You got the ball. You got the ball. You got the ball. Okay, all right. Can you... No, they've got it. Damn it, they're gonna score. Eh. Score one for the rodworms. Neutral ball. Let's go, Berserk! We are outward bound for Kingston Town. I thought I heard the old man say, Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Tomorrow ye will get your pay. We... And it's time for us. People coming into the stream don't understand what's going on. It's like, what's happening? <laughs> I'll go back to the uh, regular programming. <laughs> Oh no, don't lock me out. But I love sea, shan sea shanties, they're so good. Oh, the frog dogs just pulled the ball handler apart! <laughs> Do you know, Celestial, I'm actually sitting, I think I showed you, um, uh, the last time you were in here about the, um, the Star Trek stuff I've got, like, the little memorabilia I have, I'm still waiting on one, and it's been three months, and part of me wants to cancel it, but part of me doesn't want to, because it's a little model of, um, it just says it's still waiting to ship, and it's the original NC-1701 original Enterprise. Star Trek TV series model and I want it I, I really want it and it's been sitting there for two months waiting to be shipped and I still don't have it but I still want it I'm holding out hope <laughs> oh. maybe they don't make it anymore but I'm still holding out hope It's gonna join my little board cube down there on the shelf. Stop slowing me, Jesus Christ. Everyone has so much more. I don't, I don't know how you have that sort of ability, but okay. Apparently you do. If you're interested in old Nordic Celtic music, I recommend playing it as well. Dude, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Apparently, apparently, in accordance with my bloodline, um, I can tell you my last name. I don't, I don't, I don't care, like, you, you can, if people want to try and hack me or whatever, I, I don't know what we're trying to do that one is, but my last name is Keatings, and that comes from the Celtic name Keaton. Uh, which is C E I T I N or something like that. Um, but um, my family actually was partly um, bred with Vikings in Ireland. So apparently I'm part Irish, part Viking. 
or part Celtic, part Viking. That's what the bloodline says, apparently. <laughs> so Keaton is the actual Celtic name, or Celtic name, and which originally came from Ireland, and the Vikings invaded, and apparently we are of that bloodline, part Viking. Should be part English too. What the Keating's name? It could be. Apparently, the family bloodline goes back nine hundred years. I realize this is something you must do without me. It just should be. I couldn't let you go without at least wishing you. The way this is unfolding, I'm completely disheartened. I never dreamed we'd face Valkorion again. And now you must do so without my help. I hope you know that if I could, I would be by your side for this. What exact help do you think you're going to give? Like, it's... I always appreciate your concern. My last name is Drake. I hate making you worry. This will be over soon, I promise. I have a cool last name. Well, I think your name is much cooler than mine. Just stay safe. <laughs> Good, you're so Keating's Drake, yours is much cooler. <laughs> I hope there's room. <laughs> like, I'm not concerned giving my name out. Like, is. No, I know a lot of streamers are like, oh, I can't give my name out. People will come after me. It's like. If they do, they do. Like, it's. All my stuff's protected. Like, it's. Yeah. All of my passwords have no connection to me as a person. <laughs> You're not gonna brute force them. <laughs> That's not a good idea. You could get infected. Yes, but yours has history too. Uh, what people are Have going to. to come after you? I lost one. Parent. No, no one's gonna come I'm after me. No, no one's gonna be after me. But you know, it's like people. Well, people are concerned, like see. giving their actual name in the, the streams. Like, honestly, you can go on LinkedIn and you can look me up. Sides. Like, it's, yeah, I can't hide it. <laughs> sure as hell won't let him affect you now. Commander. We need to speak with you. Before you go. <laughs> I have no secret identity. <laughs> my actual real name is part of my Twitch name. <laughs> All right, go ahead. What do you have to say? We're coming with you. We helped you defeat Valkorion before, and we won't abandon you now. Whatever this weapon is that he's unleashed, I'm sure it won't have any power over Arkin and I. This is just as much our responsibility as it is yours. If there's the slightest chance Valkorion could return, we <laughs> must do what we can to stop him. Sorry to interrupt you. If you search my Stand name up, you just get Iceman. Name. We will accompany it's beaming, you. ain't it? <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> it's that Scott Keatings. That's really my real name. Not a good idea. Kira is correct. <laughs> too many are already infected by Tenebrae's weapon. Bringing you is too great a risk. That's not your call to make. The only orders I'm following are the commanders. All right then. What do you think? I just ask you don't harass my employer. You can harass me as much as you want to, but don't harass my employer. <laughs> they don't deserve it. <laughs> um, yeah, we need all the help we I can get. I wasn't expecting anyone to offer to come with us, especially since we don't truly know what we're up against. We're going to need all the support we can get. Thank you. If that is your decision. It is. <laughs> Then let us the main reason I ask that is that because my employer deals with people that are in very delicate situations. I wish you all good luck. Um, people and that I'll have lost everything. Here so I would you ask, need us, just say the words. Don't hassle my employer. Um, they're dealing with the insurance claims and all that sort of. The company I work for is not an insurance company, but my company manages the claims process. Like they're the ones on the ground actually doing the the groundwork. So I would ask, is like, don't hassle them because they're the ones dealing with people that have lost everything. And we've had reports where we've been managing claims and people have committed suicide. So I would I would ask that you can hassle me, but don't hassle the employer. Because they're dealing with people that are basically on the bones of their ass. 
We appreciate but we won't talk about grim stuff. Whatever you need. Must be demon. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we lose the droid. I have so much story to go through before I actually catch up to Legacy of the Sith. But then again, Legacy of the Sith is about two hours. Ah! I had to take that dig. I'm sorry, I did. <laughs> do you know what my suggestion was is for, uh, for Swotor to do? And I, Here, I'm sure I've said this before, but I reckon that SWOTOR should actually, as a new a new thing, is to implement like a uh, a PVE space battle. What I mean by that is like look at look at the um look at the prequels where um they were all fighting the uh, the Trade Federation ships and that sort of stuff. Make like a PVE situation where everyone on the team has to fight like this big ship, and they all have different roles. Like you know you have to tank, you have to heal, you have to DPS. I reckon that would be a good addition to the to the um to the game. Um, not like Galactic Starfighter where you're fighting other people, you're actually fighting like a big enemy, like a big ship. Locked on and sealed. I reckon that'd be a massive addition to the game. I reckon they should do it. Um I guess I'm going. It's always seemed to be me going, like fucking arseholes. I guess it's me again. They could use the know-how from Squadron. Oh, Celestial, absolutely they could. Yeah, yeah. It's like there is so much. They need to. Um, I think. I think Bioware really needs to do the same tactic that Blizzard does. Blizzard steals ideas from other MMOs. They blatantly do it. Like they, like, they don't even deny it. They do it all the time. I mean, Dragonflight, the new expansion for World of Warcraft, the biggest component of Dragonflight that they celebrate the, like it's like, oh, you can do dragon riding, you can do dragon riding, and it's like, do you know where they got that? They got it from Guild Wars. I swear to God, look it up. Look up Dragon War. Uh, sorry, look up Guild Wars Flight and compare it to Dragon Flight Dragon Riding. They are exactly the same. <laughs> exactly the same. But that's when Blizzard is in their element. They steal ideas from other other franchises, other MMOs. And that's the thing, that's actually what a lot of the community said, it's like, seriously, Blizzard, if you're running out of ideas, just steal ideas from other franchises. I mean, there's one idea that I reckon that Blizzard could steal from Star Wars The Old Republic, the companion system. Steal the companion system. Uh, they've been doing that for years, basically picking up someone else's idea and then polishing. Yeah, that's basically what they do, yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't deny it either. They don't even try to hide it. They just do it. I wish Bioware could give uh, GSF FPS camera views and see the inside of the ship like squadron. Like that. Oh, oh man, that would be fucking sick. I reckon that would be really sick if they actually did that. If they actually gave you that viewpoint where you could actually see inside your own cockpit. Yeah, I reckon that would be really good. But I reckon that they should actually come up with like a PVE space battle situation. Um... Let's be honest, 7.1 has been a bit of a disappointment. It really has. Like, they promised a year-long celebration. Um, I really don't want to get into this. Like, I can show you YouTube videos and everything like that, and these videos can go into arguments where the content creators for SWOTOR are on copium, and they can't say what they want to say. But, yeah, it's not enough. 
but I love I love Swotor. I, I love Star Wars. Like I love this game. I love my operative. But I think I think what people need to realize is that it's not, not creepy when you left. It's not the developer's fault. It's um it's senior management's fault. They're the ones that um, determine how much money they can spend, how much develop they can do. It's yeah. Not their fault. Now it's the compressor. Impossible! I checked not five minutes ago. Check it again. What's going on down there? We must leave immediately. Doesn't make sense. Every time we repair one system, another fails. That must be too sad. Yeah, management is to blame. That's the thing. I where he's hiding. Let's find a way to take these guys down quietly. I remember when I was at the pub with my sister and nonsense. I was talking about uh, the video gaming industry, you like, I, I can't even remember how the topic came up. And I was talking about Cyberpunk 2077, and it's like, it, it was released, and it was an absolute mess. Come on. And it's like, it was released, it wasn't ready, the developers said it wasn't ready, it needed at least another 6-12 months of development, and, um, my sister is actually, she's actually quite high up in the corporate world. Um, not in the video game, oh, fuck. Alright, fuck. Give me a second. I'll finish that story in a second. Thank you. Feel the power of the Sith. That's not the power of the Sith. You're just a pushy bastard. All right, let me kill these guys, and I'll get back to my story. Assholes pushing me off the edge. Actually, I can probably tell the story while I'm doing this. It doesn't really require that much concentration. Um, basically, what I was saying is that, like, using Blizzard as an example, is like releasing things that are not ready. She said to me, is um, working on that sort of like executive business level he's like of course they did it's like what do you mean of course they did it's like of course they did it's because they have stakeholders and they have deadlines that they have to adhere to it's much easier to actually release a game and deal with the the, the fallout of it and then patch it later and i said to my sister is like no that that's fucking bullshit she's like i know it's bullshit i know it's fucking bad and it doesn't treat the customer the right way but from a business point of view it makes sense it's like fuck oh, hell must die yeah so that's the way they look at it that's why that happens that's why I keep saying about many games I play, I have a critique, doesn't mean I don't like and enjoy them. And vice versa, if I love a game, doesn't mean I have to agree with every decision the developers make. But that's the problem, it's management that's making the decision. And the thing is, she makes an absolute point, it's like, it's easier... What's, what's, what's the argument? It's, um, it's, uh, it's easier to... It's easier to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. That's the argument, right? It's like, it's, it's, it's easier to just do something and do it wrong and then like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm gonna fix it, than the alternative. They may have come for the same reason we did. We shouldn't assume they're enemies. Agreed. Containment should be our first priority. The gaming industry has lost its soul, let's be honest. All right. It used to be I'll about the game, but now sure it's about... Engines and hyperdrive are permanently <laughs> shut down. Weapons and shields, too. Just in case. We must still ensure that no one who has boarded this ship can leave. We cannot risk this corruption spreading. We should check all the escape pods, then launch them. I had this discussion with them. someone the other day, like in regards to Star Wars: The Old Republic. Can take our um, sabotaging everything. Agreed. If Star Wars: The Old Republic, if Bioware turned around and said tomorrow that okay, all right, um, yeah, the game is free to play up to a certain point, and then if you want extra, uh, you want extra staff, you have to pay for it. But, you know what we're gonna do with the next expansion? We are gonna... We're gonna introduce... Six new flashpoints. You know, let's go even bigger. 
They're going to introduce 10 new flashpoints. We're going to introduce three new raids. We're going to introduce hours and hours of story content, new PvP, new this, new that, new that, blah, 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 all this new stuff. Get the community frothing on it. It's like, oh my god, that sounds fucking amazing. Here's the catch. You're not going to get this expansion for free. You have to pay $40 for it. I guarantee that most of the com community would turn around and go like, fucking take my money. I will pay for that expansion. <laughs> That's disappointing but real. That's my motto in life. I'd rather beg for forgiveness than ask permission. That's the thing. It's like, take, take, take the, take, yeah, exactly. Take it and then say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd laugh and say, you must be joking. No one would believe them. It's said before. Right about that, yes. And that's the thing, it's like... But I think they need to be absolutely honest about it. It's like, we can give you... Multiple raids. We can get, like... Look, use World of Warcraft, for example. We'll give you three to four raids in an expansion. We'll give you 10 to 12 flashpoints in an expansion. We'll give you new PvP zones. We'll give you new gearing. We'll give you this, we'll give you that, we'll give you this, we'll give you that, blah, blah, blah. And the list goes on. We'll give you hours and hours of story content. However... For the next expansion, you have to pay 50 bucks. It just went up from 40, it went to 50. I reckon most people will be like, yes, I will pay for it. <laughs> they need to be honest with how many devs are working on the game and then give us a real roadmap. They, they do, they, they really do, Castle. And, all, and by the way, welcome back in again. <laughs> They really do need to be honest. It's like, I know that they... Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Bioware is owned by EA. Star Wars The Old Republic makes enough money to show up on EA's reports. Just saying. But... If they turned around and said, give us money and we will give you everything you want, I guarantee you a lot of people will say yes. I'd say yes. If they turn around and said, I'll give you four raids, I'll give you ten dungeons, I'll give you new PvP areas and all that sort of stuff, I'd be like, fucking take my money. <laughs> EA fucked them on Anthem by taking devs away and not giving them back after Anthem failed. They did. They absolutely did, Anthem. Like, Castle, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And the funny thing is, is that after all of the, um, the scandal that Blizzard went through, they've been pumping money into development. I mean, they, they bought out the development team of... Oh, I can't remember the game's name. Um, what was the game's name? I can't remember. They bought out the development team. It was a hundred developers or something like that, and they bought them out and brought them over. I don't know if that was Microsoft decision or if that was Blizzard decision. We like bring these developers into this team, and we need them. Am I cute for PvP? No. Now I am. Okay. Um, let's just scooch past these guys. I'm just gonna pass by here, guys. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, I can't remember the game's name. Sword... Sword something? Uh, what was it called? Oh, God, I have to look it up. Oh, no. It be. It was... Uh, what was it called? I can't remember. What was it called? The game is still live. But Blizzard bought the development team out. And you know what? That actually might be Microsoft. Well, technically micro That's it. You got it, Castle. Spellbreak. That's it. Yeah, you got it. Spellbreak. They bought the Spellbreak development team. A hundred developers. They brought them over to, uh, to Blizzard. I guess the question is, is like, was that... Was that Microsoft that made that decision? I don't know. Celestial, I think Microsoft probably was the influence there. It's like Microsoft doesn't 
quote unquote own Blizzard yet, but I think that Microsoft is probably making decisions right now on what Blizzard should be doing. And to be honest, I think that Microsoft might actually split Activision and Blizzard apart. I reckon that's what they're going to do. I reckon they're going to split them apart. Um, I reckon they're going to split them apart, and I reckon that uh, Microsoft is actually going to be all over World of Warcraft development. If Microsoft turned around and made uh, World of Warcraft's subscription part of the Xbox Pass, oh my god, the amount of players that they would get from that. I think so. They need to split them apart. They, they have no business being together. But if they made the WoW subscription part of Xbox Pass, my god, how many new players they would get. I think Microsoft is the best thing to happen to Blizzard. I'm not lying, like, I reckon that's the best thing to happen to them. Because Microsoft have been on an absolute W right now with their games. And if they can do the same thing with Blizzard... Murphy! guys <laughs> no. I want a bad man Muffy it's like Muffy does have a bad attitude towards PvP but Muffy is actually a very good player gotta give Muffy that It's Murphy, yeah. <laughs> hey, Murphy. <laughs> I think Murphy's gonna kick my ass, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna need some backup here with Murphy. Oh, Murphy has more health than me, so Murphy is definitely more geared than me. <laughs> Where'd you go, Murphy? Oh, here she is. Oh, did we kill Murphy? Oh no, Murphy's back. Oh no, that's someone else. Okay. Alright. Alpha babe, you've been on my team so many times, I feel betrayed. <laughs> Castle, I'm 100% I'm in agreement with you. It's like, if they brought WoW onto the Game Pass, it would be fucking massive. WoW would be like the king of MMOs again. Well, to be honest, WoW has always been the king of MMOs. Even now, it still is the king of MMOs. Just not a very good king. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think they should do that too. I think you should bring it to console too. Ah, the tyranny! But you know what? I have much, much more faith in Microsoft than I do fucking Bo Bobby Kodak. Who is still not fucking letting go. Don't get me wrong, like, Bobby Kodak... 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 
Do I even need to pronounce his name correctly? Bobby Kodak. He did build the company to what it was, but then he got greedy and it just became like a cash cow to him. No, the king of MMO are actually the oldest games. Old school RuneScape that are the very first MMOs before WoW. What about uh, Neverwinter Nights? Was that an MMO? Or was that just an RPG? Bobby is going to stay. Of course he is. Of course he is. He's hanging on. He's hanging on to try and squeeze Blizzard of as much money as he can before he leaves. I swear the Microsoft director of... Um, the new Microsoft director of Blizzard. What's his name? Is it Mike? No, that's the uh, that's the president of uh, Blizzard, Mike. Mike Ybarra is the president of uh, Blizzard. Who's the um, who's the guy that heads up uh, Microsoft Games? What's his name? His name's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember right now. EverQuest aren't that old. RuneScape is not even close to the oldest MMO. Here's a quiz question for you. Can you name the oldest MMO? Is it RuneScape or is there older? I actually don't know the answer to that question. That's it, Phil Spencer. That's it, you're right, Celestial. It's Phil Spencer, that's the guy. Phil Spencer, yeah. He's the one that will be in charge of Blizzard. Ultima Online. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. Ultima Online. Forgot about that. Oh, I just wasted that. I fat figured that one. You're right, Phil Spencer. You know what the you know what the good thing about Mikey Barra though is is that he is um he's a WoW player, like he streams like him playing fifteen plus Mythic dungeons, so he knows what the state of the game is, and to be honest, that's exactly the kind of person that you want in charge of a gaming company, someone who actually knows the game. baby I'm sorry I know you're always on my team I didn't want to kill you but you're a traitor it was the oldest there was a, a MUD stuff before that but no more play the request is true to be able to use landscape I don't know why I thought that EverQuest was the oldest one. Or RuneScape. I thought I, th I thought either El EverQuest or RuneScape was the oldest one. We've got a pretty good lead here, guys, to be honest. Like, it's my team carrying me because I'm too busy talking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they know what I'm doing. We're like, oh, we're going to carry this idiot because we're going to shut up. <laughs> Four times. I tried Final Fantasy Online. I got about 20 minutes into it and I was like, not for me. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with it. I'm sure it's a great MMO, but I, I, I think when it comes to video games, like you need to you need to grab someone's attention within at least the first hour. And 
Final Fantasy XIV has you sitting there reading text for the first hour. And I was like, mm, this is boring. This is boring, I'm sorry. It's not one of those situations like, oh, it gets better, it gets better. It's like, no, with video games, you need to grab someone's attention. It's like movies, you need to grab someone's attention within the first hour. If you don't do it, then they're not going to keep going. You can say to them, it's like, oh, it gets better. It's like, well, yeah, that's fine, but you, you bored me. <laughs> and I've seen streams of people have been like, oh no, you'll love Final Fantasy. It gets, it gets really good when you get to uh, end, end game. How long's end game? 50 hours? No. I'm not gonna. I'm not, oh shit, I'm still alive. I thought I was dead. It's like, no, I'm not gonna. Wait for 50 hours for the game to get good? I'm sorry, like, I'm not gonna do it. Liar! <laughs> Don't see that game though, it's not really a game I like. Second Life. Don't give Scotty a book for his birthday. Dude, I, 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 yeah, like, yeah, don't give me a book for my birthday, I won't read it. <laughs> Dude, I went to university, I, I've read, I've read enough books. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to read more books. <laughs> Final Fantasy is good, but it does have loot. Sorry, a lot of text and dialogue. And that's the thing. I think that's where Final Fantasy falls short, is that you can't have people sit. Leave my teammate alone. Asshole. There we go. I saved you. I'm a hero. Where are you going? I take care of my teammates. But that's the thing, it's like you can't subject people to that. It's like, oh, you have to read this wall of text. It's like, I'm not gonna do that. I did that in school. <laughs> to be honest, actually, you know what? When I go to the toilet, I might actually go to my box over there and I'll show you the physics textbook that I had to read when I was in university. You should see this thing, honestly. Actually, you know what? When I go to the toilet, after this match, I'll go to the toilet and, I, and I'll grab this textbook and I'll show you the size of this thing. And you're telling me I need to read? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Second Life or a weird game that not really a game, more like a piece where you can build character that chat to people. That are like that. Is that? I never tried Second Life. Have you? What is it like? It's part of the charm of Final Fantasy. Take a selfie from the toilet so we know you're okay. No, I'm not going to do that because I'll probably get banned. But I will go for a pee, and then I'll come back, and I'll, I'll get the textbook, and I'll show you it. <laughs> and this is one of the textbooks that I had to read in university, and you'll probably understand from the size of this textbook why when a game forces me to read pages and pages of text, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this. Don't stop. Oh, you're going. Okay. I'll just grab this cube. Got it. All right, let's go. Oh, we might win, guys. We might win. I think we got it. And you guys are so stupid. Gold Scorpion. Who are you, Mufi? Don't be so negative.
get cubes. That's what you need to do. Get cubes. Oh, well, if you're not going to get cubes, I'll go back and get a cube. I'll go get this one. Hopefully no one stops me from grabbing this cube. Oh, no, we missed out. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to stealth for this. So I don't have to deal with double cubes. Ah, we lost. Okay. God damn! 11 million damage! He was killing it! Although, will you notice that he had 11 kills, and so do I. Just saying. <laughs> I'm going to quickly go to the toilet, guys. I'm sorry. I will I will be right back, um, and I will show you the book. At least you will know what kind of bloke you are. I'm a jerking bulb on life. Yeah, whip it. Uh, yeah. No more holes. I don't know why. Whoa. Thanks, Ted, by the way. I'm no. trying to res him. <gasps> oh, oh <my laughs> shit! I saw that happen. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> three, three healers just triple penetrated a hole. Oh, wow. It's a wipe anyway. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna call it. <laughs> Don't get knocked into a hole. Are you fucking Armor. kidding me? <laughs> oh my oh, fucking god. god. I told you. I told you. Why? <laughs> you were standing right next to me. I was 15 feet away from the fucking hole. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Don't res me again. Okay. Wasting vibes. <laughs> Stack on boss. <laughs> <laughs> Heal fuck. Alright, right, guys, we can do this. Um, actually, no, we can't because we've lost already. But, we cause as much damage as we can. And now I'm fondling bowls. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty fucking deep right now. <laughs> hey Google, is Perseus a good guy? On the website GreekMythology.com, they say the only son of Zeus and Danae, and thus a half god by birth, Perseus was one of the greatest heroes in Greek mythology, most renowned for beheading the only mortal Gorgon, Medusa, and using her severed head as a mighty weapon in his subsequent adventures. I also found an answer to this question Is Perseus an ideal hero? Do you want to hear it? Yeah, let's fundle some balls. God damn it. You shouldn't hunch your back like that. Just saying. Okay, guys. Sorry about the delay. Ew, holding hands, I know. This game I literally had to dig this thing out. Ugh. And there were a lot of books sitting on top of it. My god, that box weighed a fucking ton. Alright. Uh, let's actually go to the uh, scene. Here it is. <sighs> physics. For scientists and engineers of modern physics. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> this is one textbook. How many pages does this thing have? Um, it has... Uh. 
Over 2,000 pages. <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> and this is not a gimmick. Like, the, the, there are things in this book. <laughs> And this is a first year textbook. This thing weighs about 10 kilos. Oh, not 10 kilos, I'm over exaggerating. Like five kilos. Jesus, if you threw this at someone, it it could kill them. <laughs> I kept it as a memento. I could have sold it to the second hand store. I was like, no, I'm keeping that thing because it's so fat. <laughs> The thing is, John, I had to read that. I had to read that thing. <laughs> that is straight out of Scott. Oh, no. That thing would kill me. Honestly, that thing. Honestly, it's... And... Oh, oh, oh shit, like... I go back to it. It's like... The reason this thing is so fat is because it's supposed to be a comprehensive textbook of everything that is physics. Like, um, give me a second. Try and find the information. Mechanics, uh, electricity, quantum physics, space, atmospheric physics. Um, oh my God, it, it, it goes on and on. It's like, this thing is supposed to be like, sound waves it's like honestly if if the human race was to disappear like if the human race went into the stone age tomorrow you would want something like this because this actually is a pretty good brief of what we've achieved scientifically <laughs> from a physics point of view Yes, Celestial, it's the yellow pages. It's the yellow pages of physics. <laughs> oh. And that was my first year textbook. That was a good read. I loved it. Yeah, it was, it was fucking great. <laughs> That's one textbook, though. There were others. Looks like my high school math book. Oh yeah, honestly. The thing is, is that, you know, if, 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 an, if an apocalypse ever happened and the human race just basically was reduced to nothing, you would want textbooks like that because it basically gives you all the information of everything we've done. Like engineering, like, like how, does, how, does a, how does an engine work? How, do, how does electricity work? How does magnetism work? How does... How does this work? How does that work? It's like, you would want things like that. And they're very comprehensive. It's like, you would want... If, if the human race went to shit, you would want those. And that's why they're so fat and they're so thick. And it's like... It's starting to sound sexual now. Uh, <laughs> you would want those. Because they... They basically detail what we've achieved. And if the human race ever had to try and start again, you would want something like that. That's what she said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's like having to read all of that was a nightmare. But at the same time, and I still haven't put it back to the original camera. There we go. But, if the human race had to start again, you would want something like that. You would want a textbook like that. Because it does detail how an engine works, how an electric motor works, how magnetism works, space, um, sound wave, motion, it, it explains everything. You would definitely want something like that. But I don't want to sell it, that's the thing. I could have sold it to the secondhand shop, but I was like, no, nah, I'm not selling it. It's like, I had to read that bastard, I'm keeping it. 
And if we ever get taken by a zombie apocalypse, that could be the uh, the saving grace of the human race. <laughs> He's like, this dude kept a physics textbook. Now we know how to make electricity again. Now we know how to uh, use magnetism. Now we know how to do all of these things that we could do before. <laughs> That's not going to be the scenario, but you at least want something like that. Oh, here's something, here's something that's very interesting. You ever see those zombie movies, uh, those zombie TV shows, um, where they are, um, driving around in cars, um, years after the zombie apocalypse happened? The Walking Dead, yeah. The Walking Dead. Well, The Walking Dead actually caught up to this idea. Um, apparently... Petrol, as we call it in Australia, or gas, is only good for six months. It's a refined product, and it's only good for six months. If it is not re-refined after six months, it basically becomes like a gelatin product, and it's unusable in an engine. So, after six months... If you don't refine more petrol or gas, or re-refine the petrol or gas that is currently in existence, you can't use it in a car. Because it is a refined product. I think Fear the Walking Dead actually introduced that idea. The Walking Dead didn't. It was like, oh yeah, we can still drive around years after people stop making petrol. Is that, well, no, you can't, because it's a refined product. I think Fear the Walking Dead as a TV series was actually more in line with what would actually happen if, it, if a zombie apocalypse actually happened, because it played on the idea that, yep, yeah, uh, gas would go bad, and it will go bad after six months. You can't use it unless you re-refine it. Um, uh, GPS stops working because GPS, uh, the satellites would stay up there, maybe, but they would actually drift out of position and then become unusable. Um, there's various other things. Fear the Walking Dead is actually pretty good. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And there's, uh, nuclear reactors that are still operating that people are not taking care of. If you don't take care of the nuclear reactor, they go critical. It's like, things like that. It's like, they actually address things that would actually happen. It's like, if, if a zombie apocalypse happened, nuclear reactors would explode, uh, GPS satellites would fall out of the sky, petrol would be unusable. Like, things like that, yeah. People that don't, people, things that people don't think about. <laughs> Fuel up refining would need to be in the top five things to get soon as soon as, exactly. If you wanted to keep actually using fuel, then you would need to, yeah. Oh god, I seriously did not help my team here at all. I was too busy talking. <laughs> I've done it again, I've been too busy talking. <clears throat> and I remember, I remember seeing a TV show, like, talking about, like, a zombie apocalypse. And, um, and they were talking about, like, uh, vegetables and foods and everything like that that you would want to have in a zombie apocalypse. You would hope, well, you would want to have vegetables that could actually, um... <coughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get that away from the microphone. <coughs> um, vegetables and fruits and that sort of stuff that would be able to grow without, um... They wouldn't be delicate, they would be able to grow in a sort of semi-harsh environment. And I remember this, um... This survivalist said that... Well, if you if you want vegetables that can actually survive a harsh environment or a... Hostile environment, they have to be ground vegetables. Like potatoes, carrots, onions, so that sort of stuff. They're the ones to go with. When it comes to vegetables that grow above the ground... That's where, uh, that's where animals start attacking them. 
I was like, okay. So potatoes, carrots, onions, those sort of vegetables will be okay in an apocalypse because they're underground. The animals can't get to them. And you need to shut down nuclear reactor plants as soon as possible. That's the thing, Zinji, is I think, I think the power grid would try to keep the power going as long as possible. I think in an emergency situation, they would try to keep the power going as long as possible to try and keep the most people in man alive, but would they die for it? Or would, would there be a person that would actually shut it down if it got to that point? Or would they just bolt and the reactor is still going? And then the reactor is... The reactor is continuing on, and I imagine that, like, say a nuclear reactor or a coal fire reactor would be able to run on its own for a certain period of time, because there'd be safety protocols in place for it to actually run on its own for a period of time. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> um, but it would eventually get to a point where... Oh, my God. <coughs> <laughs> Quoxic! Oh my god, thank you for the raid, dude! Thank you! Welcome in, raiders! How are you doing? Welcome in! How was your stream, dude? Was it good? If a zombie apocalypse ever came down in real life and wanted to live underground, we'd have to have a shut down the nuclear reactor. I stand alone next week. It's like, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it's a lot easier. Um, ah, uh, it's. I think when it comes to, like, say for example, like, Australia never fuck, adopted fuck, fuck, fuck. nuclear reactors. We still very much use. Uh, we yeah. Oh Jesus! Fuck! That <laughs> scared the shit out of me, actually. <laughs> okay, I got a real good picture. Welcome in, guys. Thank you so much for the raid. We were talking about zombie apocalypse scenarios. Um, I'll use Australia for example. Australia for example, um, there is a massive push for Australia to use A, either nuclear power or focus heavily on renewable energy. And there is a massive shift in Australia to use renewable energy. I think 40% of the power grid is powered by renewable energy. But at the same time, the other 60% is and powered by. Is John C. <laughs> Scott's ranting, shut up! <laughs> Scott. Basically, I'm being told to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> You're ranting, dude, shut up. But that's sort of oh, okay, Dennis, you didn't do it really again, did you? Idea, but I'm already here, so. Oh, oh Dennis. I can go. Bye. Uh, Extreme knows his pants is on you. Ooh, ooh you're so warm. Ooh, couldn't help but notice your balls from across the floor. Noses your Nikki like you tell them or till they see. <laughs> Unzips your baggy is pants, oh baby, uh, you so muscular. I can't me, move. me and make me yours, and don't forget to stuff me. See me like my little baby tail <laughs> for your bulgy bulgy <laughs> kisses and licky bulgy bulgy. Neck. I hope Daddy likey sizzles and wuzzles your chest. No, I be getting yeah. thirsty. Hey, I got a little itch. You think you can help me? Only seven inches long. Ooh, please, please adopt, adopt me. Pause on your butt as I lick my lips. <laughs> Ooh, punish me, please. Better hit him with this furry shit. He don't see it coming. The raiders need to hear it. Oh, I think the raiders are disgusted about what just happened right now. <laughs> This fucking uwu shit is driving me insane. <laughs> uwu? <laughs> oh my god, I'm failing my team so badly. <laughs> I live in Florida, there's a big push for solar power at the moment. But until they really improve solar, it can't replace all school power plants. And that's the same argument in Australia, but the thing is, is that... There was a scientific report that was developed about Australia in regards to renewable energy and um, the report the um, the results of the report were is that if Australia fully utilized 
renewable energy and this is based on Australia gets a lot of fucking sun we get a lot of fucking sun Australia could produce over 650 times the energy that Australia actually requires to power itself we could actually send that energy overseas and make billions yeah that was the result of the report because we are a desert island we you we do not use a lot of our land we could send 650 times the energy that we currently use overseas But like, like I was saying, it's like, it, it, like saying a zombie apocalypse, like that sort of situation wouldn't happen in Australia because um, besides renewable energy, the other actual um, power supply, well, the actual power stations are, um, are coal based or gas based. So they would just shut down when the gas or the coal ran out. So there wouldn't be like a explosion or anything like that it's just like oh the coal's gone it, the fire goes out that's it because we never adopted nuclear energy although there is a push at the moment for us to adopt a nuclear energy a lot yeah but then again we're back at we're, honestly we're okay the fact that we've still got coal plants and gas plants it's like I mean, don't get me wrong like in a in an apocalypse sort of situation the plants would just sort of fizzle out and that would be the end of it but still it's like we're the Australian government are just archaic in everything that they do the Australian government is filled with dinosaurs that fucking take forever to adopt anything In the last 10 years, we've only just adopted a fiber optic network, which should have adopted 20 years before that. But, yeah, not worth the spend, but let's spend all of our money. Oh, sorry, I'm not gonna get into the rent. I'm not gonna get into the rent. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into the rent. <laughs> no rent. <laughs> the Australian government is slow to adopt things, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Even though at one point Australia was the world leader in laser and fiber optics. And we were 10 years behind the rest of the world in adopting a fiber optic internet network. What does that tell you about our government? dude Zenith honestly thank you so much for coming in and um, exposing everyone to the uwu <laughs> they needed to hear the uwu <laughs> No one ever needs to hear that oo woo again. Defending team, stop the attackers from seizing the data core. Don't tap.
Don't, don't, don't tempt him to play it again. <clears throat> like I said, Zinji, there's a reason I put a price tag behind it, because it goes for 57 seconds. But Zinus was like, ah, uh, nah, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> no uwu? Oh, there's uwu. Needs a bigger price. I'll, I'll put a bigger price on it. But I, I get the impression that Zenith will pay it. <laughs> 10,000 bits. <laughs> oh god, we're the defenders. Fuck, I didn't even realize. Okay, alright, I need to actually pay attention to what I'm doing. Sorry guys, I've already been paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, we're defenders. Okay. 10,000 bits. He's already paid... 600. Just to annoy people. Do you think it's beyond him to not do that? That's the question, I guess. <laughs> has this, um, has this uwu stuff, like, scarred you personally, Zinji? Was it the bulge talk? <laughs> you motherfucker! I can't do anything! Unauthorized armament Well, I'll just move it. <laughs> Motherfuckers! That stun is way too long. By the way, you need to nerf that. My, um, my stun break couldn't even get me out of it. Like, that stun is way too long. Alright, fine. I'm focusing now. Okay, focusing. Distract, distract, distract. Okay. Look at that. Helps him. Okay. Alright. Gonna hold them off. Gonna hold them off. Alright. Fuck your blades. Have my fucking. There we go. Okay. Damn, you made me stand up and actually concentrate, and I've been drinking. I hate you for that. I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you. Get away from the door. could have been my killing blow. Oh, Fuck off. Hull breach. Reactor core level. Evacuation protocol initiated. Please proceed through the lifts to the bridge. Ah, I'm dead. Okay. Attackers have breached the cargo bay. Neutralize their assault and disarm. Oh, I'm on the other side. I can't do anything about that. This is what happens when I talk too much. <laughs> I 
it's possible, it's possible our situation could have been because of me. Talking too much, just yapping away. But like I said guys, like, you're my main focus. Win or lose, as long as you guys are having fun. Eh! Ah, oh, I'm stuck on the railing. Oh, I've already got 2 minutes and 20 seconds left. Okay, alright. Uh, did anyone get past? No, they've not gone past yet. Okay. We literally can't do anything about it. Okay. Do you want some healing probes? I can give you some probes. W would you like some healing probes? There you go. Have some healing probes. Get them right up here. You'll love them. Would you like some healing probes? There you go. Have some healing probes. They may or may not go into your anus. But that's how the healing process works. I don't make the rules. That's just how it works. Scotty, beat me up. Oh, oh, I can sort that out right now. There you go. Got you. Oh, you're dead? Okay, alright, cool. That's what I wanted. How did you reflect my stun on me? Like, what the fuck, man? Oh, evasion, okay. I, I think I know some things. Got you, though. I got you, that's what I know. <laughs> You'll die from my corrosion. And I got that, yeah. What are you, what's your problem? What's your problem? I'll just stick that in your back, there we go. That's one. <laughs> 50 seconds, they're not stinking uwu. -woo. <laughs> you don't like the uwu? -woo? We win. We won! Yes! Oh, I actually didn't know if we won. God damn, you absolutely destroyed it out there. Absolutely destroyed it. That requires a celebration. Okay, I know this is a really bad idea, <laughs> but I'm already here, so... <laughs> Extreme noses pounces on you, ooh, ooh you're so warm. Mm. Couldn't help but notice sorry, circles Zinchi, from yeah, across the floor. Noses your Nicky Wicky till they were till they he he. Unzips your baby. I couldn't help myself, Zinji. I'm so sorry. Take me home, put me and make me yours, and don't forget to stuff me. See me like my little baby tail for your bulgy bulgy. Kisses and lickies your neck. <laughs> I hope daddy likes you. Sizzles and wuzzles your chest. No, I be getting yeah. thirsty. Hey, I got a little itch. You think you can help me? Only seven inches long. Ooh, ooh, please, please adopt me. Paws on your butt as I lick my lips. Ooh, punish me, please. Gotta hit him with this furry shit. He don't see it coming. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Um. I'm probably gonna. You should be standing for that. <laughs> Sintik, how you doing, dude? How you going? <laughs> oh, actually, um, what do I walk into? Oh, we're doing uwu shit apparently right now. Um, but 
I'm actually just about to end it because um, I have to finish off my university assignment tomorrow. I don't want to end it right now. I'm having loads of fun, but I actually need to end it right now. Um, I'm just about to raid out. I'm so sorry that you're just coming in the back end of it. Um, we were doing uwu shit to, um, to traumatize Zinji, and I think he's adequately traumatized. <laughs> but, I've noticed that, uh, Johnny Rocker is online. He's, uh, he's an awesome streamer. Uh, I'm gonna raid him. He's gonna take care of all of you, honestly. He's really good. Um, I wanna stay on longer, I really do. But... I need to get this assignment sorted. However, sorting this assignment out uh, this weekend means that I can actually stream many more times next week because it will be out of the way and it's done. And I will be on and we can hang out and we can do uwu against Zinji and he will hate me and want to kill me and track me down. But yeah, <laughs> thank you everyone who's come in and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys. See ya. <laughs>